Yeah, that's right. Hopefully my sound is okay. Uh, I missed my old microphone where I could really hear it through these fucking headphones. But anyways, yes, we're live. Uh, lots been going on. Much will, you know, discuss because we've got plenty of time. I am sober at the moment, but not for long, folks. Let me tell you something. And I, listen, I'm not being uh, animostic right here. I'm not uh, looking for attention uh, or anything like that. But when you got boys uh, who are worried about you and uh, they say things like, and, and I'm guilty of this too. They say things like, call me when you need me. Text me when you need me. Oh, dude, if, if you're feeling like having a drink, just 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 call me. Just call me. So today I, I go to a side job and uh, it's raining out. I finish the side work. Uh, I'm bored as hell. There's nothing to do. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting fucking blasted and I call all the boys. I, I could think of probably six, seven dudes. I called none of them answered. Even my own brother answered, acted like he was busy, said he'd call me right back. So folks, that is exactly why things like this fucking happen. All right. Boys say, call me and I call them. They don't answer. So where's the fucking support? So today, folks, is uh, March 2nd, uh, just a couple of days from the Ides of March by the Great Caesar. That's right. We're in beer heaven. I just bought this keg here, a couple gallons of beer. Uh, I don't even, I haven't cracked it yet. I don't know how to. We're about to crack this. Uh, and I plan on, I'm just going to go live and, and talk to you guys and the comments and stuff until this keg is empty. And I can lift it with one finger. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, so, I mean, it, it, you know, no, I, stay strong for what, Flat Cat Jessica? Flat Cat Jessica, stay strong. I am strong. I woke up. I, I took care of my business. I can, I'm allowed to drink this keg. I'm going to drink the entire keg. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow and go do another side job. Probably smell like liquor or whatever. So I've sent a bunch of people the links. If you guys want to jump on and uh, see what's going on, a uh, former alcoholic uh, slash podcaster. He might still be an alcoholic because once you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic. Uh, Dr. Chow <laughs> joined us. What's going on, doctor? What's up, brother? And yeah, absolutely. You know, as a guy in recovery, I can't really recommend you doing that. But at the same time, you know, I know how it is and yeah, gotta do I mean, what you gotta do. So. Yeah, let's get started. I, I just don't understand the whole, you know, uh, when I was on the bender and when I say bender, it, it's, it's from a hundred proof vodka, you know, it, it's drinking hard, hard, hard liquor, uh, drinking beer is a breeze. I mean, I've been drinking six or 12 beers as you had recommended to do the taper down. And it's nothing. So, <laughs> so what's to stop me from sitting here and drinking this entire keg? Uh, why don't you explain to the folks what's wrong with me drinking this entire keg? Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get the keg open and get some beers flowing. Yeah, and and I'll explain to the folks. Uh, I, I gave him some advice when he was doing 30 beers a day. I was telling him to get down, maybe don't just quit cold turkey. Maybe buy a six-pack of IPA, something with some B vitamins where you can taper off and maybe have like three one day then two the next day then one the next the final day and then you'd be done if you're not going to go to a medically uh assisted detox that's probably your best bet but uh as you can see uh he's feeling good he's feeling strong and dude holy sh i have no idea how to install this stuff <laughs> <laughs> where's the instructions uh normally i'm used to drinking heavy liquor i mean beer is one beer is kind of funny in that way it's they, they do all this crazy shit i saw this keg and uh, i just thought it'd be fun to go live unlike these other shows who just talk about the same bullshit every day it's five percent alcohol five percent of this entire keg is alcohol there is uh yeah let's get yeah. someone in the chat can you look up how to tap up a uh, micro keg heineken keg on and put it in the chat the d instructions for us because he said he can't stop podcasting till he drinks it all. So, uh, well, yeah, and well, that is true. A... Little Limmy, does you do you know anything about uh, what's going on with kegs? Nope. Or... I nope. have no idea. No. <laughs> right. uh, well, this is how dumb I am because I mean, this what's is up, so Queen? sophisticated. It's crazy. Little Limmy, how are you? I'm sorry about the harsh words that I had to say uh, earlier on some uh, Australian guys' podcast, but what I what I did say, I meant. So, I appreciate it. I, I I'm flattered. Good. All right. 
No, th people are calling me an amateur. Hold on, gray piece first, then the spigot. But they're both gray. Okay. They're both gray. Listen, you could call me an amateur all you want. I don't, I don't go through the fiascos with this when it comes to drinking. I buy a bottle of 100 proof vodka and I send it down the hatch and go to work. So what are we doing here, folks? All right, here's the, the here's the spigot. Obviously, gray piece yeah. first. Yeah, you see the little hole in the circle there. Yeah, that, so but has this pop on? Fuck, dude, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Chow, look it up. Come on. Fine, I'll look it up. Yeah, no shit at some of the shittiest beer. The only people that make it a keg. I got to finish this whole thing. The round gray piece goes over the hole. All right. Watch. Let me. It's going to blow up in my face. Hilarious. All right. There it is. It got that part installed. Now, uh, that's going to go. Oh, now I'm going to break the ice. Shit, I better get something underneath this. Maybe I should have fucking uh, tried this first, I guess. Oh, oh, ooh, too much foam. Hold on. That's fine. Keep the show going if you don't mind. I mean, you know, I'm just here pouring a foam bath. All right, well, I let heard that... you should do foam. I, sh I heard that you're supposed to let it foam and then let it settle for a while. No, no, because the foam just, it just sits there. But uh, a good old trick we learned is you could wipe... Uh, the grease off of your forehead and put your finger in the top of the foam and it quickly melts away. Exactly. Uh, a little salt. Well, is that way? It. Is it the salt or the grease itself? Because grease doesn't contact good with water. It's salt, I, don't know. I think. I would yeah, put I my finger salt. in my ear to do it and then put it in the <laughs> oh, bottle. Like, it, it works. <laughs> and as, a, as, any good, uh, as any good alcoholic knows, you can't waste a drop of it by dumping out that foam, right? Well, yeah, I'm just, yeah, well, right. I mean, where am I going to dump it on my floor? I mean, I've been doing enough cleaning today. I tried to do the chores. I got done doing the chores. Everything in my apartment looks fine, immaculate. And so I went to go do a side job, uh, help a lady out. And uh, I finished all the stuff at her house. I said, are you sure there's nothing else I could possibly do? And then it started pouring down rain. And uh, I'm sitting here bored. So I went to go get my haircut. Chow, you saw that nice, beautiful, immaculate haircut. Nice on the sides before the show. Yeah. And uh, sitting there in that chair, I go, let me pop in the liquor store, see what's going on. I see this great keg. I said, you know what? Why don't I just go live and talk to people? Because I, I'm, first of all, when I was on the bender uh, two or three weeks ago, I broke my TV in my living room. I have nothing to watch. Uh, the TV in my bedroom, uh, I hate to break it to you folks, but I'm half deaf and the TV is too small. I can't read the subtitles from hashtag king size. Uh, I'm laying in a, just a big, humongous spread of a bed from gambling because we're gambleholics, me and uh, Vinny Cash and myself. And, uh, you know, sometimes we lose, but that's fine. I got a king size, and we'll see what's going on with that. All right. This beer is halfway done. Lemme, your thoughts on my comments on Australian guy. What's the name of that podcast, by the way? I have no idea. The United States of Australia. Is that the name of the, of the show? I think, or no, I don't know the name of the show, but I good think eggs. I, I like those guys. They and they did actually follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna have those guys on. Uh, Chow, you should look into those guys, man. They were they were pretty cool. I popped on just to actually be an asshole because I was feeling really dickheady this morning because we lost six thousand dollars gambling last mm -hmm. night. But then when I pop on and, and they're being funny and Husey's being funny, Husey's always funny to me. I mean, people who say Husey's not funny, they don't have a funny bone in their fucking body. I don't understand how anybody can say he's not funny. Uh, no, I I love it, man. I, I I've never seen their show, but the one guy hit me up once. Uh, but I actually lived in Australia for a while, so I love everything Australia, bro. Well, yeah, I haven't been to Australia. I don't even know if I can. Have you been to Australia, Lemmy? No, I've never been out of the United States. Really? Really? You've never left the U.S. How many states have you been to? Less than ten. Name them. I know you've been to Florida. Yeah. Uh, Maine, Arizona, Texas, Florida, North Carolina. I think that's, that's about it. it. Minnesota. Oh. Yeah. I've never lived in Minnesota. Oh, I, no, I bet you've been there, right? Oh, Ciao. yeah, I've been there. Where have you been? I've been about everywhere uh, in the United States. I think the only, the only places I haven't been... Because I lived out east for a while. I lived in the Midwest, and I was born in uh, kind of the western region. So um, <laughs> I have to put this up just because it's hilarious. I had to cut you off, Joe. Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, this guy's been in my chat since my show. Since I started doing my show, and uh, we're at episode two forty. Listen, folks, uh, we don't have a, an exact agenda going on right now. Uh, the plan is I'm going to finish this keg, and we'll talk about whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so I've been. You- uh, where have you lived? That's not in the U.S., child. I've lived in Wari, Nigeria, and Karachi, Pakistan. Uh, I was almost born in Pakistan. And then I lived in Nigeria till I was almost five, I think. And then, uh, of course, Houston, Alaska, all that bullshit. Who cares? Who gives a fuck, right? It's all the same yeah. shit. It's all the same roads. They pave the roads the same ways. Yeah, just Queensland, Australia. That's the only place I've lived, but I've traveled around quite a bit. Um, different spots. Ah, first shooters down the hats, folks. There you go. All right, let's pour up another. Dude, this thing's cool as hell. Why have I, I never f- bought one of these before? This is awesome. A couple <laughs> gallons of beer. I, uh, by the way, folks, I know you guys all heard the rumors that, uh, of course, I was uh, having some domestic issues the uh, the other day. Uh, that's when I was on the vodka bender. I called the lady and I said, "Listen, I am going to go live, and I'm drinking an entire keg." She said, "Please, I don't care what you do, just don't be mean to me." I said, "I'm not." drinking vodka so when you get home at eight or nine o'clock everything's gonna be fine hopefully the keg's gone by that point but if not we'll still be here live until the keg is floating and that's fine how much <laughs> how many ounces is that i can look it up I it's 1.32 gallons of cold beer and i also have two 18 packs in the fridge just in case <laughs> we want to keep going for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it man you know oh god All what right. are you gonna do dude i'm just happy i'm just happy that i can go into a liquor store and not buy 100 proof vodka but as i was going on about my stupid rant i know you guys aren't talking a lot which is fine uh when i began the show is like you call all these guys uh who say oh i'll be there for you bro call me anytime just shoot me a text bro if you need help anytime you want to chat so today i'm bored as fuck and there's nothing to do. Yes, uh, sorry, I get distracted easily because I have ADHD. Chris Mack, I got paid for the cash for the side job, two hundred bucks actually to fix a lady's cabinets right across the street, and uh, it's gone thanks to Donuts, uh, which is a slot machine on DraftKings.com. Uh, it was gone within five minutes. Job took three hours. The cash gone in three. Easy. Uh, anywho, uh, but no, I'm guilty of the same thing because I. Uh, he asked me not to talk about it on the show, but uh, I have a personal friend of mine who was uh, saying some pretty dark shit within text the other day. And uh, I thought about it today when I, you know, he was texting me two days ago. And today I'm like thinking about some dark shit. Uh, I'm ready to get fucking hammered down this keg, whatever, see what's going on with the numbers. Because uh, thanks to one super chat or whatever, I mean, you guys can go blow Kevin off, whatever. Uh, just front of my fucking mouth now because it's hilarious. But yeah, I, I was like, you know what? I didn't even call my one friend who was texting me about the same shit I'm worried about why I'm calling other people. You know, I, when I should have just called him, see what's going on because I ain't heard from him. So hopefully he's good, you know. Yeah, well, well, you got a support group here. And if, if anyone wants to jump, I don't on need show- a support group because that's gay, child. That's the point. <laughs> support is gay. Here's well, you what I need. I need party boys. Here. I need yeah. boys. To you got a party here. On. I, I, what's annoying to me is uh, when people only answer the phone when they want something. You know, uh, no, no I understand. Doubt. Me and Jim Stancil have a different relationship because Jim Stancil hates talking on the phone, so I understand that. And he let me know that up front when we first started hanging out. He first started doing the podcast. But all the other boys, uh, if I pick up the phone and call them, I need him to answer. Or at least call me back within an hour. Everybody, everybody and their mother looks for fucking phone within an hour. Am I wrong? I mean, yeah. even guys in the in the seventy. I think it was uh, who was it? Dalton Pruitt put out a good tweet that said, uh, you know, the only people that are even talking into the Siri are, are over fifty years old, and he's right. All right, second one down the hatch. Let's go. Let's go. So it, I think you're going to have about 14, 12 ounce beers if you do the math. So. Just 14? Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Yeah. 
Let me, what's going on with you and your show? I see you go live early on Saturday sometimes. What's up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, I was actually, I, I ended, I was, I had 30 minutes left of a three hour movie when you sent me this link. So, really? Yes. And you joined uh, instead of being on your film? Yep. You're such I was smart. watching Oppenheimer. I mean, where, do you have friends like who are, you know, into this, uh, whatever they call? No. no? All right. <laughs> it, 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 I, I hope my girlfriend's not listening because I hate to say this, but it's hard to talk to Lemmy because I'm so attracted to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> Should I like, I can put a bandana over my face. Dude. No, no, you're totally fine. I'm just saying like in general, because you're cool as hell. You're always uh, in and about the chats. You got your own thing going on. Uh, and, and you, and you know who you, I, I'm trying to figure out how to put this, you know who you are. You're not like, uh, one of those, you don't have a lot of, it, it seems like just from looking at you from on these shows, you don't have a lot of insecurity. I do. I have a lot of insecurities. I just, don't we don't all, if we don't on the internet fucking know them. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier I saw a comment on that, uh, Australian show that you said, fuck Stevie Lou. Now are you against Stevie Lou? What did Stevie Lou do to you? No, I'm not against Stevie Lou, but I am quite annoyed by Stevie Lou. Me too. Hey, he is annoying. I can tell you that for sure. And you know, I say it. Uh, Woodrow says, "Cut Chow loose." Sorry, I'm doing. I'm totally pulling a Ray DeVito by getting. Uh, uh, I don't know why he's saying cut Chow. Chow rules, dude. Fuck all you guys. I mean, Chow's podcast might not be the best sometimes. He's trying, and he's had some. And li listen, he's had some fucking great guests. Chow's doing all right. Chow's got Mark Random on me. Monday. Really, dude. Yeah. Random spawn, man. I've had him on like three, four times. He's fun as hell, dude. I did a. Uh, I actually did stand up with me. It was me, Mark Random, and Chrissy Mayer. We did stand up at a place called the Pink Flamingo somewhere in Jersey. You had to walk through a strip club to get to the stage. Hell yeah. That was you wear your mask or no, no, that's when I was actually trying to do stand up, but everything was just it was I moved here during COVID. It was the worst fucking time. Whatever. Uh yeah, I what do you want to get into, head. man? What do you want to talk about? Dude, it's my show. I'm getting drunk. You guys ask me. It's your turn to ask me. What's going well, on? I was going to say earlier, uh, you said you kind of wanted it to be like a party free for all. So if anyone's in the chat that you know wants to get a hold of you. probably Yeah, no, I said I sent a link to a bunch of people. Of course, yeah. I sent it to Lemmy first because I did want to apologize about my absolutely rude and disgusting comments I said earlier. But it doesn't mean I didn't mean them. I wasn't supposed to say them uh, on the air. Uh, so if anybody wants to go listen to the episode, it's Australian something. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, so with Stancil, you know, he's at work right now. We're supposed to be doing our regular show tomorrow. But fuck it. I said, let's do a regular show now. I got a keg. And uh, I can run it. You know, I've been doing these solo shows. I did an hour and a half solo a couple weeks ago, which was just bananas. And uh, crazy shit. I gotta stop. I gotta turn this chat off. If I, I, I keep getting distracted, I want to talk to you guys on the chat. Why don't you? Uh, Ciao. Can watch. you see the chat? I can see it. I can keep All right. An so eye just, for you. just read. Yeah, read some shit that that sounds cool. Because I'm about to get fucking drunk. All right. Third yeah. one. Up and down the hatch. Not bad. We could do some prank calls, I guess. <sighs> what are we? Twelve, child. Let's talk about real life. <laughs> Now, know. Lemmy, did you actually fuck Granny? Yeah, we have a child. Oh, sh I, I had see. This is how out of the loop I am. I'm so stupid. Seriously? Yeah, we've been together for eight years. All right. So here's <laughs> the, here's the thing that annoys me about Granny, and it's almost kind of the same thing that annoys me about Little Mirror. Is <laughs> both of those guys remind me of dudes I went to high school with, like when I'm looking at those guys. Uh, so that's why me and Granny always have that feud every time we're on a show. And you can ask Chow. I don't know if you watch his episodes. When I'm on his show, I always have a feud with Little Mirror. Because those guys, I could, I just know those guys. Like, those are the guys I grew up with. So it's just easy to recognize. But, big piece? It's got a pretty big piece. How big? Big enough. Come on. Don't, don't say big enough like all the other women in the world. What are you thinking? All right. Nice. It's girthy or long? What's going on? 
It's about that long. Yeah, long. Yeah. It's what do you good. prefer, long or girth? I haven't been with many dudes, if I'm being honest. No, that's so, fine. That's fine. I mean, uh, is is it the length that that you feel or the girth from Granny? She just knows what she likes, and yeah, it's both. He's all encompassingly satisfying. <laughs> have you eaten, have you eaten his ass? No, I have not. I'm not even going there. I've waxed his ass though. He looks like a and dude who would have a dirty ass. No, he showers twice a day. I know it doesn't look like it, but send him a link. Confirm. Get him in here. I'll I, confirm. <laughs> he's uh he's playing League of Legends. Yeah, nerd. Yep. See, like I said, I, I would just fight with a guy. <laughs> uh she needs it big. She has five kids. Not shut. I mean, you gotta yeah, you gotta totally. read to this stuff. Uh, send some Keep. super chats, folks. I mean, what's yeah. going on with that? Seriously, we got to get these numbers up. My numbers from January and February have stunk so bad, I haven't made it on anything. Uh, <laughs> See, if you were watching, watching uh, me Kelly, you want the, this, Kelly oh, just texted me. Kelly, do you want the link? Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> just got a fucking. Uh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm ho I'm trying to host a show. I'm getting drunk. I'm drinking an entire keg. I just got a voice message. Let's see what's going on. Hey, yo, Ski. It's uh, Ray DeVito. I got an idea for a show called MLC. It stands for uh, Missing Lemmy's Cunt. Ray, you got to stop. It's Ray. fucking disgusting, Ray. Ray, uh, I, have a, I have a whole catalog of your voicemails. You don't think I saved them, Ray? Do you think you just leave someone a voicemail and I can't replay them? I mean, Ray, it's ridiculous what you're saying out here. I mean, uh, <sighs> give Ray a call back on air. I'll, I'll give Ray DeVito a call right now. Yes, please. On. Thank you. I'm going to ask Ray. I'm actually going to call Ray DeVito and see why he's leaving me these voicemails. Uh, so, <laughs> well, I mean, what's going on with Ray lately? Let me see. You may have a lot. Uh... If you'd be uh, watching Mir Musk, you'd know everything about Lemmy and her uh, husband, yeah, Granny's sorry, relationship, yes, and Ray. Hold on a second. I, I, I'll be right back. Please leave a message, and I will call you back. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Ray, listen. Uh, it's been going on for about six months. The, the vile voicemails, brother. Uh... I thought we were friends, you know. I I don't know. Whatever. Look, I'm a little confused myself and what's going on, but the the voicemails you've been leaving me, I've been playing them on my show. I just want you to know that they're saved, Ray. And uh also your chin looks like a butthole. All right. So, that's easy enough. Son of Billy Wagner knows what's up with uh Ray right now. Well, Son of Billy Wagner rules, man. I love yeah. Son of Billy Wagner. Yeah, he's dope. Son of Billy, we got fifty-three people in here. Nice. Send oh, the and super you got a super chat. In. Yes. Uh, oh, Gino, come on! Here. I sent you the link, Gino. You fucking asshole. We I gave you in, five. I, I, yeah, that's fine. Gino <laughs> knows I love him. Gino owes me his life. Hey, Gino. Gino, sorry I can't link in. Love you, pal. Little Olivia Chowbro. Love you, Gene. Uh, Gino, uh, tell Chrissy that I'm not banned from the studio because uh, she wants me to do Wet Spot. I told her I might still be banned from uh, my last appearance on In Hot Water. Uh, by the way, Gino, if you if you think I'm mumbling my words, I am. Because I'm drinking an entire keg. Uh, I've done yeah, don't three... lift it. That'll make it foamy again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That. <laughs> Hold on. You should uh, set up. Oh shit! You probably you should set up another Streamyard on your phone, and send the link to it, and then you can set up a camera on the actual keg, so we could have a box with the keg as a uh, on the on the. Yeah, show. but no, I got texts coming in, like oh, you know, right, people right. fans that want to text me and not just be in here because they don't, you know, yeah. whatever. I'm, I'm chomping all over my words. Like I said, I'm getting drunk as hell tonight. Uh, apparently, people love the drunk ski mask is what Stancil told me. So I told him, I said, you know what? I'll, uh, oh, shit. Let's get some gene to this motherfucker. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mario, come on. Take this and make a show better, you giant hack. 
Shut up, Mario. Mario was ne- was never funny. Ugh. Fuck, dude. I ate a uh, I ate a subway. I was gonna oh. barbecue two chickens. Uh, I was gonna do uh, you know, I was gonna do two chickens with the uh, the beer can. You stick the the beer can chicken. You stick the beer can up the fucking chicken's ass, and it fucking tastes good halfway down. Beautiful. But uh, it started fucking pouring rain all over this shit. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, I mean, these guys, these guys are fucking absolute. <laughs> Look at me, stop killing yourself with alcohol. Your real friends would stop you from destroying yourself. The whole point of the show, dickhead, is my real friends wouldn't answer their fucking phone. Little Emmy. Nice pussy. He- also, by the way, caught on TV forever. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Th- <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but God damn that's it. the problem. You You can't really tell them what to do. You can give them advice, and uh, but you know, cut it on TV forever. Get the fuck out of here! I'm about to blog. Cock <laughs> let, let me send me your phone number. Uh, do a keg stand. I don't know if I can stand up on that side because no, yeah, the spout kind of comes over the uh, the side of that one. Uh, Vinny Cash, we were gambling last night. I don't know what happened to Vinny. Uh, no, K Fur will. Kay, first of all, listen, I'm about to say some bad stuff about K Fur, but I want everyone to know that when I met K Fur in real life in Atlantic City, first of all, hot, hot wife or girlfriend. I never asked and I forgot to look at the finger. And second of all, he was the exact person who I thought he would look like. He looks like an ogre. I'm K Fur. Listen, you know me. I've told you time and time again. Some of the shit you tweet is the funniest shit ever. I can't retweet it because I don't want my friends to get angry at me. <laughs> but when you're going on those dumb rants, K Fur, it's fucking hilarious. But keep the stuff up. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, K Fur. I mean, he's just K Fur is like I, I don't understand what makes him do that stuff. I mean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, he does look like an ogre. He's bald, uh, short, shorter than both of you. I could tell. And uh, yeah, six three. There's so. no way. I'm five foot nothing. There's no way. <laughs> He's maybe five three. So uh, yeah, you might. You're five foot nothing. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, what's your favorite um, uh, airline flyer? <laughs> Trying to think if we can get some hose in here with Lemmy. I don't want no. Ho- I don't want hose. We want Lemmys. <laughs> we want Lemmys. New T-shirt, folks. I'll make it right now, live on the air, while I finish this keg. We want Lemmys. We want women. Women like Lemmy. I mean, she's so respectable. She just tells it like it is. That's it. Would women? Would Lemmy want a sixty-nine with me? No. She doesn't seem like a, a chick that would love to suck a dick to the ball bag. You know what I'm saying? Not his. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I gotta love you, dude. Right. All right. So, so. Oh, Devito. No, Kelly. Kelly, what's up? Are you drinking a keg? Yeah, I'm drinking a keg. The whole thing. Yes, I'm not ending the stream until the whole keg's gone. I don't know, a couple of gallons, who cares? 14 and change, like 14 and a third. Lord. Yeah, hey, so I tell Stanson to quit one. being a bitch. Tell him to take a bathroom break and join the fucking show that he's a part of. Hi, Lenny. I love little Lenny. Hi, Kelly. I love you, too. Ooh, let me say she loves you, too. I love that ass. Uh, and I love you, Dr. Chow. What up, Ooh, Chow says he loves you, too. Uh, Hashtag real job. Hashtag. Yeah, I know he's working, but I mean, it just it's it's just so funny to me how he could do all these other things when he can't do the show. So we we no we we plan on we plan on yelling at each other tomorrow about a lot of stuff. Oh good. Oh, it's gonna get interesting tomorrow. I love when you guys fight. 
I know you do. I mean, because dude, he's my he's one of my best. He's my co-host. He's my, he's my best friend. You know, what are we gonna do? I know. But we have to yell at each other, and the only way we only talk on air. I, yeah, it was on my fucking channel, Callie. Come on, I'm on a show. Relax. What's going on? I didn't know you watched it. Sorry. Yeah, I I, I kind of run Ski Mass Media. I didn't know if you know that. All right, I'm getting drunk as hell. So if you want to join, I'll send you a link. No, I'm out. I got I shit to do. I just want to check in. You have nothing to do. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. All right. <laughs> People always forget I'm half deaf. Uh, we got a couple supers in here. Uh, what nasty Al say? Nasty Al, quit your yapping and start chugging. Let the monster out ski. Goddamn right, sir. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, yes, sir. Oh, I didn't know you and I, I didn't know you and Kelly were close. Uh, let me, that's cool. Oh, I don't think we're close, but we respect each other on, on, uh, Twitter I didn't mean close. I meant like, I didn't know who she knew who you her were okay. or whatever. My, my words are also fucked up because I'm also on 60 grand of Adderall so I can make sure I can finish this. Uh, yeah, me and her have been debating. Uh, I've been saying Ray's a virgin, and she's saying he's not. She doesn't think he is, but she's she's kind of like 50-50 on it. Who? What do you think, Lemmy? I don't think he's a virgin. I think he's probably maybe tried a few times, and it's not been super successful. He doesn't seem like – he seems like the guy that will fumble with everything. So maybe like one time. Maybe the, like the first time was like real and – According to him, it was like really traumatic and a bad experience. So maybe it was like a one time. OK, thing. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. If he actually yeah. admitted that, that makes a lot of sense. And I don't think he ever tried to do it again. That I think he's asexual. I've maintained that since day one with Ray. Here we go. Is this number four or number five? Five. Nice. And you're not. Uh, yeah, we want uh, I want that Tommy guy. I want to send him a link. McNulty. Yeah, I, she, I have to say something. Is it not? I, I, listen, man. I mean, this is such fucking bullshit, bro. Uh oh, god damn it. I wish I had a whatever. Listen, Tommy McNulty might be a psychopath, right? Oh, 100%. He came after Gino. Uh, he got banned from compound studios. The guy tweets some pretty bold shit. However. Some of the videos he posts and the breakdowns. Listen, I always give credit where credit's due. That's why I'm a number one Chad fan again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's funny. It's fucking funny. Funny's funny. I don't care if you've talked about my mom, my dogs, uh, the shit I just took. If it's funny, it's funny. And Chad's, Chad's been great lately, man. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting trashed now because I'm, I'm talking about all kinds of different shit. All right, fuck it. Send Stevie Ludley. <laughs> I knew I, try, would I, I knew him, uh... I knew Lemmy was gonna laugh at that. That's all the reason. Absolutely, send Stevie Lou the link if he's not right. afraid of me. Go Let for me it. Look at my he don't like me. Every time I say anything in the chat, like I said something. I said right, summer. What's her nuts? Looks like his mom, and he like. You could tell he got emotion. He's he. He got uh -oh. like four comments out of it. And I was like, why don't you make a big fucking deal about it, Stevie Lou? Let me, you know, you're one of the hottest ladies in the world. Let me talk to one of my uh, good friends here. Gene, what's up, Gene? <laughs> Yo, dude. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw, send me, uh, hold on. Let me get the mic where it belongs. Yeah, I saw the thing, send me the link, and I just shut down my shit and all that stuff. And I didn't want to, I was going to enjoy a little steel toe. No, everything's but good. So, so Gene, here's what's happening, man. Uh, I texted Chrissy. We were talking the other day. And I said, hey, you know, I, I'd really like to get back on a wet spot. And uh, she said, oh, yeah, anytime. And I go, oh, wait, I forgot. I might be banned from. Am I still banned? Because you're the one who banned me. Am I banned? I, I never. No, I didn't ban you. First of all, I didn't ban either of you. I didn't ban either of you. Fucking. And as, as I said to Stansel, when he finally showed, I'm like, you finally no, it showed. So my, it was the time that me, myself, Chuck Mejon came there and i got so fucked up i have no recollection of what happened and i don't want to know nice yeah. eames chair fag I, why don't you put some bumpers on it? 
Thank you very much. That is an Eames chair. Kiana brought it out to the forefront of the apartment. Yeah, you're fine to go by there. No one okay. cares. All right, all right. So I'll text Chrissy and let her know that I'm I'm allowed to do the show. I, just, oh. I was respecting you because you said I wasn't allowed for a while, and I uh, thought... which is totally understandable. Hold on, I'm get that on. get that big BBC out of your mouth. <laughs> it's not even a BBC. It's a little. I was a. Uh... Yeah, so yeah, if that's what you wanted, yeah, that was easy enough. I could have texted you that. What are you guys chatting about? You don't What's ever up? text me back. We're chatting about. So here's the deal, Gene, uh, is, you know, I've been trying to taper off alcohol, right? You know, uh, I don't know, uh, Chow, let me, have you ever got, have you guys ever seen the Saturday Night Gino picture? Legendary. Where he's, so. dr he's, no. drunk, he's drunk on a couch and he looks like an absolute retard, doesn't even look like his face. It no, looks like no, anyway, no. Anyways, it was due to uh, me giving him 100 proof vodka. And because why wouldn't I want to drink with my boy Steel Toe at a fucking secret show? Right. So uh, I've been coming down off of alcohol, Gene. And uh, so I've been drinking some beer. Now, today, uh, here's a funny thing, Gino and Chow. Uh, you know, you guys already know this. You're supposed to call your friends when you're thinking about drinking again. Well, I called about six or seven of them. No one wants to answer the phone. So here's what we're doing tonight, Gene. I got the nice little Heineken keg here, and uh, the live stream is going to go on until this keg is done. You know well, saying, well either the keg or steel toe. Either the steel keg or the steel. Keep calling you steel toe. Either the, the, the steel <laughs> keg or the steel toe. One more time. I know exactly where you live. Call me still talking one more time, Jane. <laughs> I know. Oh, please. Neither you, know of you, serious, about you know who I am. We, we're boys. Come on. Bullshit. What's that? Yes, we are boys. So uh, what was I going to say? Uh, shout out to Little Lemmy and Dr. Chow, both of which got mentioned uh, today on uh, my, uh, my, my stream. Uh, Dr. Oh. Chow for texting in about Crazy Ray DeVito. Little Lemmy, I gave props to, although fucking uh, Pat Dixon goes on that show and fucking lied. And you, and you, like, I gave fucking uh, Quadfather shit about it. Well, this so is how. Gene, so, Gene, why, why all of a sudden you're allowed to say Pat Dixon's name on the air now when you weren't saying it before? When was, I don't even understand that. What does that mean? It, it just, it, before you were saying, oh, just this, some guy this is who, how you guys get fucked up. You listen to so many lies that you think I said I something. Listen, so what? Watch this. Stop. You're Gene, gonna Gene, say Gene, that Gene, I said Gene. I you said don't I'm listen not a to my show, obviously. Because if you listen to my show, you would know I don't listen to any fucking thing unless Jim Stancil's on it. I'll tune into Brennan for about maybe five seconds. That's it. Child knows that. I don't listen to shit, Gene. So what are you? But and yet you you say with all confidence something that I never said. Yeah, because I have text messages saying what. People send me clips of you saying, oh, some guy may or may not have punched me in the face or some shit. So now that you're saying his name. No, well, here's the thing. It depends on what Dixon has said when I'm You wear the pants? It, what's that? You wear the pants? You have a little more Heineken. Look, I'm going to. Daddy doesn't lie. Daddy always says Pat Dixon's name unless he's doing a bit to Pat Dixon doing allegedly. And I say that guy's name, whatever. But. Pat Dixon, I mean, I, I, look, I, Pat Dixon literally has gotten so pathetic, and I love that he believes his lies. He literally was on, did he not let me say, I can't be on this show if Gino's in the chat. You understand, did he not say that, Lemmy? Did Lemmy let freeze? No, I'm, okay. I'm not present. Why is she not present? I'm right here. Oh, right, right. But I'm saying, did Pat Dixon not literally say, I can't be in here if Gino's in the chat? He literally oh, said, "Oh yeah, he did say that." Yes. Okay, well, so well, what? I mean, that, here, here's the thing. Before no, before, let me finish my sentence. No, no, no. Shut up, you know, you always anytime you come on my show, you always want to cut me the fuck off. I was I'm invited. I was invited, and I'm just of trying course to make you a were. Point. So I don't want you, I don't want you to try to take over the show because I know he's doing hot water. Now you're in a lower left corner. Okay, you understand? You got. I can. I can be you. in no corner. I can be in no corner. That's understandable. That's fine. Let me let you, me you do me a favor. You can try to you can try let to me steal do, my other Let me do me followers. a favor and explain to Steel Toe who's doing who the favor here. Who gives a fuck about Steel Toe, Gino? Yeah, I don't fuck with Steel Toe. He no lives more. in the middle of the fucking U.S. <laughs> who gives a fuck? I live less than an hour from you train ride. Why the fuck aren't you sitting next to me? Who the fuck? Why did he leave? What's going on? <laughs> Why aren't you here? Why why'd you I mean, why'd you take me out? Stop I kicking I, me I, out. I, I, dude. Did, I didn't do that. My uh my 
Oh, he's doing it. Is he doing it? Who's doing it? Who's I doing did it. You I did it. I did it. I did it. Asshole. He being cheap. That's funny. That yeah, you got me good. That's it, it funny. Was stupid. Yeah, but no I was never that But listen, Gene, <laughs> listen. I love you ten thousand times more than I love Pat Dixon. But yeah, Pat Dixon's podcast blows. He stinks on Brennan, but who blows more than uh, Pat Dixon? Brennan. His show sucks, right? No. Nap Dixon is way more boring than MLC. MLC sucks, dude. I tune it in. It does, go, but Nap no, Dixon I, I, is... I call Kevin. I have Kevin. I have both numbers. I call both of them, and I leave them voicemails. I say, listen, the show sucks. It, 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 what is this, a rerun? Is it a rerun? You're, you're talking about John? But you were talking about John last Thursday. You know what I mean? Gene here, uh, at least he's getting titties on his fucking show. You know what I mean? Big boobies next to my partner crime, Jim Stancil. Yeah, that show was dank. All right, oh, look, can I, can I just say one thing? I reached out to the, the very lawyer, like, Pat Dixon is a bitch. Pat Dixon went on two weeks ago. I don't know who set him off, and he lied and said, oh, I did this. I And he said his one of his lies was, he's like, all I know is I was facing six months in jail. He said this on his podcast. He's like, I say, and then when we subpoenaed the medical records, they never presented them and they dropped the charges and I got anger management. So I reached out to the lawyer. Her name is Brianna. I can tell your full name. Why bother? And she sent an email saying Pat is lying. Not only did we show the medical records, they were subpoenaed a second time. We showed them all the medical records uh, and Pat has anger management and it's not sealed and uh, it's not only not sealed, but if he ever fucking gets arrested again, he's going to jail. So if he ever is uh, dumb enough to hit a woman again, uh, then he will go to jail. And not only that, but I have the actual order of protection I ever asked for. It just goes out and it, it details everything. But before I show that, which I will next week, I reached out to this lawyer and she's like, I'm off. I got the automated email. She's off till Monday. So tomorrow, excuse me, Monday, I will go over all the things he lied about and I will present them next week. And I'm telling you, He's insane. And when he says, like, I can't talk to him in a chat, it's a lie. And he could even be at the same comedy club in New York City as me. It's literally on the order of protection because Jane, New York Jane, Jane, stop. Just shut the fuck up, Jane. Listen, right, I'm going to go. See, I'm no, go. no, stop, stop, Jane. No, 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 because all I'm doing is spouting facts and you no, fucking no, all no, live in the no, library. No. I, I I'm, done. Say, I'm done. I'm done. All I'm doing is spouting up, facts Jane. and you, you live in the universe of lies. And when little Lemmy, who's great at what she does, sits there and lets a lot like that, Gene, I get a little frustrated. I'm on your side. I'm new to Pat Dixon, just FYI. Gino, I'm Gino, very new Gino, to Pat Dixon. Gino, has hit three fucking Gino, women. Three. Gino, 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 give me two minutes. All right. Uh, well, what were those ladies wearing? Gino, Gino give me two minutes. Listen when he hits me. the fourth one, I'm going to crack up. Listen, brother. <laughs> uh, ever since you've had Stancil on your show, the show has popped off. You guys together have been fucking absolutely the show's hilarious. fantastic without him. I won't sit here and, and let you lie uh, about One thing I've always respected about you, you don't lie on the show. You don't lie about anything. So, yes, I look, I'm, I'm no Pat Dixon fan at all. I've seen Pat Dixon do stand-up, didn't laugh. I've seen Gino do stand-up in San Antonio. I laughed. That's the first time we ever met years ago. Great time, buddy. That? And uh, listen, I've always respected you. When we hang out, we're boys, right? Yeah. Have I ever disrespected you? Not really. So what the fuck's the animosity about? The animosity is me just trying to finish the sentence. You're like, I don't care. And I'm just pointing. Proving yeah, because it. it's my show. I'm not on your show right yeah, now. Yeah, but at your show, you had me on your show. So I thought I could prove a point as a guest on you're your show. But I won't if show. you're going to. Like, that's all I'm saying. And and when Dave H. says that's slander, Dave H., ask yourself why Pat Dixon, ask yourself why Pat Dixon doesn't sue when I say Pat Dixon has Who hit three cares women. cares about Pat Dixon? Because the three Bobby, women Pat Dixon has hit will come forth and testify. Listen, listen you got to And Pat doesn't want to be called out for receding. a fucking violent you know, domestic it, abuser. You got a forehead that's fucking receding. You're about to marry a chick that looks really good, a very hot woman, who may or may not know how to cook for you, right? So shut the fuck up about this Pat Dixon shit. Who gives no. a shit? Look, Who I'll cares? Go, I, just, I just wanted to point that out. I did a great stream today with your buddy Quad Father, uh, Aaron Imholt from Good Ski Mask. Stop by. I did that one on purpose. Oh, <laughs> yeah, asshole. Don't yeah, do that, that, baby. Asshole. Uh, listen, I confuse Gene, you two because I like you two. I'm sorry. It's I'm 55. I forget things. Gene, uh, anytime you want me back, I would love to come back. Uh, 
listen, uh, if you still have the time, what's going on with Bobby? I got Hill. problems. I have the problems with Bobby. I feel Bobby like he who? stole it from me. Bobby who? <laughs> exactly. Bobby. Yeah. The guy that the guy that called Keanu half a trans, the guy that said he hopes yeah, yeah. the motherfucker the motherfucker that uh let me stay in his hotel room when I came up here and, and just hung out and then acts like he doesn't even know my face anymore. Bobby who? Bobby who uh tried to do an opening album at Port Chester, New York and bombed completely bombed so bad that they didn't I, guess. Even I don't know it. any Bobby. Uh, I don't know any Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, he, he's uh, he's a fucking dickhead. Bobby who? Bobby who uh, turned one of my best friends against me, Pat Oates, the guy who was giving me good spots. Good, that's fine. Eh, did whatever. You a favor. Did you a favor? Whatever, but he was giving me spots. But Bobby yeah. he told him. Bobby Tamburo fucking sucks. Period. I said it here. Clip it, cut it, tweet it. I don't care. Bobby Tamboro, who I took all hey. over the all over with me, and then started taking pictures of empty chairs, like yeah, weird yeah dude. What I heard something you said the other day on In Hot Water. You said you want to complain about driving eight hours. Driving eight hours ain't shit for fucking 15, 30 minute spot. Yeah. What he was complaining about driving that far? Are you serious? I no, I don't know about that. I, I don't know what I. I, no, I don't think you, he ever complained about driving. You said that. Yeah. I don't think I said that, but I say a lot of shit. It no, no I'm not. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the painting behind you. Oh, fucking no! No, no, yeah, no, no. At any rate, Gino, I, listen. I I appreciate what you've been doing with my boy, uh, Stancil. You have uh, made him a lot funnier. And don't get me wrong, Stancil is funnier than the both of us, and it's hard to it's it's hard. To wrap our minds around it. You know that, you know. I understand, buddy. What's going on with Artie? No idea. I know it's Come on. I know how do you not know? I know a, I know a skosh because Artie changes his number. Ma- how how was how was Bosco talk to him, but Falato hasn't? What's that? Falato. Because Falato why does anyone listen to me? Falato's another psycho that lied all the time. Falato lies about everything. Why do you, yes. anybody, any motherfucker out there who posts Twitters or tweets, whatever, in paragraphs is a complete liar? Falato's always been a liar. Yeah. yeah. Falato's, he, don't get me wrong, he's a good egg, but he loves to embellish. You know what I mean, Gene? Yeah. Well, he does whatever makes him look cool. Like he literally enabled Artie. Don't get me wrong, it was all Artie's fault. He did the heroin, but. He would cover for him in that apartment, but so he had a free place to stay. He was a mess. He was a mess. And don't get me wrong, I was complicit, as I like to yell at uh, Red Cross Sorry, social man. workers. I was complicit because I, uh, you know, I just needed, I need, I wasn't getting paid, but I needed the exposure. So I showed up yeah, every but, day, like, but, this is fine. That, Everything's that, fine. That was, back, that was back, like, what, that was pre Burke. Like, that was when you were getting yelled at by Artie and the stuff that you would say back to Artie. I mean, that's when I first learned the name Gina Bisconti. Yeah. It's Gina was you know, Gino, Gino, Gino. Oh, Gino doing this. And you would just, you would give it back to him. Yeah. You would just constantly give it back to Artie. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hear bullshit. Fuck you. Why did you go? Why did you go get another tissue out of the bathroom? I, yeah. I mean, those are the jokes, man. Why do you think I, I fucking, I drove eight at Texas is a big state. I drove eight hours to come see you, you and Berg. And yeah, Texas. that was great. Like the first time we met, man, and uh, it was crazy. And now look, we're boys, and now you, you, we both share the same colors. I mean, what the fuck is this world doing? It's a but crazy you need, shit. But you need to realize, and this, and and Jim did. I love Stancil. So like, like when he was, I'm like, he, no one banned him. He banned himself because he knew he fucked up. And the first thing I said right. when he came back is like, "You're back now because you can face us." And it wasn't like a come to God moment. It was like, yeah. And that was that. And the show didn't miss him at all. The show is the show no matter what, because the show is me uh, me bouncing off Stephen Garrett and vice versa. And whoever comes by, that's just filler. But I'm a good host because I know who I am. I know I'm funny. And that means well, I don't have to be that I mean, funny on Gene, the show. Because everyone else is set up to succeed. I know this is live. Uh, eh? I, I want you to do me a favor more than I would want to do your show because I actually would rather do uh, Wet Spot myself. Uh, personally, uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick. That was a joke. Oh, Listen, I'm sorry. You, you know Chuck Manjo, right? Love Chuck Manjo. 
send him an invite to your show. Send who an Just invite? Chuck. What do you mean send him an invite? I told him he's welcome back anytime. I told him yes, not to but he doesn't know that unless you nervous. tell him. Let's just listen to me when I tell you that. I'll text you afterward or whatever. I have to tell you shit. Just say, just book a date. You and Chuck, not on a Tuesday with Stancil. Just you and Chuck. Where is Stancil? I see him in the chat. He's a fuck. He's at work. Oh, yeah. Oh, a, what are you say? Still alive? Yeah. All right. Uh, here's uh, what is this number six, Lim? So. Why, why is he doing this, Lemmy? I have no idea. I can't stop the guy. Uh, by the way, Lemmy, I gave you yeah, major props. You, I, told, I told Derek, you're just you, you're just the most. Oh, Gino, Gino, I, I, I was, I dude, I, I was about to that, lose my Thank fucking you, shit last night when you're doing that cooking stream with Keanu. Why? And, and you're sweeping in the background while she's got pots on the stove. How What's the your, fuck do you think hair gets to the food? You're sweeping. The there was no hair in the food. Do you think? Well, we were all oh, wearing ski yeah. masks. Send Shuli the link. <laughs> no, shut. Shuli can fucking eat my ass. By the way, speaking speaking of shit, I was right about. Uh, fucking oh, tell right. me, I wasn't right about fucking all these fucking tubby. That guy Tommy in the chat, he's insane. And if no, he ever shit, came by compound, insane, he would be arrested. He's hilarious. What's that? He's funny. He's insane, and if he ever and I'm I, by the way, I'm not always right because I thought he'd be dead by now. He's a fat, sad Dude. loser, and I can't believe he hasn't lost a foot at least. Let but if tell he you came something about compound, he'd go to jail. Here's what's dangerous about Tommy: is Tommy will put something he can out, fall on you. No, <laughs> Gino, that's why you're a comic. Uh, <laughs> can clip it, Adam? Call this one. Hey, Gino, oh, that's why oh, Adam. Call it. Oh my God! Someone said Gino's right. Here's the, thing about the-, the thing about Tommy is, is he, he's funny. He's hilarious. But if you give him too much leeway, he starts to become creepy. You know what I mean? Like, he released a couple nice of those videos. Him. Dude, it, it's cool to be nice. Tommy's a good, Tommy's a nice guy. I've met him in real life. He's a great dude. And he releases funny shit. But you got to be very careful on telling him how funny it is. If he's a piece sense. of shit. He made a fake account with my name on it. He fucking, he kept changing it to look exactly Gino, like. Gino, 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 Ke- where's Keanu? Where's Keanu? Call He's her over the there. Call, call her over here. I, I just She's saw in her the chat. She's home. All right, Keanu, if you listen, listen, Gino, I want you to listen to me for a second. Listen, my back of my head is reciting. I'll show you if you want is to. Is what? It's receding, whatever. I'm I'll getting right drunk. Back. I'm drinking a keg, motherfucker. I can't say uh, <laughs> the front of your head is receding. You got a hot. You dick. say so, buddy. Uh-oh, who's calling me? Uh-oh. Jim Stancil's calling me. Ah. Uh, Stancil joins. What's up, Stancil? What's going on? Are you killing yourself live on the air? <laughs> I'm drinking the leg. What's up, bub? That kid doesn't miss. That's good. That's good. Hey, how about that Tommy McNulty? He's a funny guy, isn't he? Yeah, I love uh, Tommy. He is kind of funny. What's up? Just for entertainment. No, you you're kind of right. Uh, maybe these people should pay us, or uh, I should just end the stream, right? Yeah, I mean they should pay you. To, you're killing yourself, and for the sake of entertainment, which is better than all of these other uh, high school girl podcasts. No offense, uh, uh, Dabbleverse, Lemmy, etc. That just <laughs> she's at least you're killing yourself. I mean that's more content than. Uh, just talking about who doesn't like who, right? Right. I mean, it really is. I mean, maybe I should just, you know, call them all out and just say, hey, why don't you just blow my fucking brains out? Then I don't have to worry about the money. Right? Right, Stance? You want to go viral or not? I know. I understand what you're saying, Bubs. Remember that guy who blew his head off? I know. I know what you're saying. I, I'm just trying to finish this entire keg. I just thought it was funny. You know, I don't know. It is. Original. Nobody, hey, listen, nobody else is doing it. Right. Everybody else is talking about Shuli's, Kevin's, Brandon's, Ziggy's. Who gives a fuck about that? We're drinking beer. We're having a good time. Gino, I'm sitting right here with Gino. Hey, buddy. I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh, oh, okay. 
interesting than any of this other crap. I mean, how much better is this podcast than any other podcast that's been put out in the last two weeks? Every, everything except uh, In Hot Water and Machete on MLC. Other than that, this is the best thing I've seen. I mean, dude, I can't wait to do, uh, like I told Gino a second ago, he needs to invite Chuck back because I feel tired. I never said Chuck wasn't invited back. I've spoken with Chuck. Really, uh, he was very sad. I've never seen him that sad after that. He, thinks, he was literally uh, crying at, at my apartment. I've never seen him that sad. Yeah. So hopefully he invites Chuck back. And uh, well, Gino just turned around in his other chair. I don't know where he's going. His jeans look a little bit too big for the waist. Uh, so we'll see what's going on. Stanza, you know what? You know how to join. You have access to all my shit. Uh, oh shit! I didn't mean to. What I miss? Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing what's going. On. You know I'm half deaf, bro. So I can't listen to you uh, with the headphones on. Oh, well, little Lemmy's here too. Uh, what do you th- What are your thoughts on little Lemmy, Stanza? Like us, where she goes, uh, where she wants to go. One hundred percent. That's the fucking right. best way you could have put it, doggy. Yeah, I put everything the best way. I'm a genius. Uh, yeah, are you? You still owe me two bets. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, wait, did you tease out what we're gonna do on the show tomorrow if you're still alive? Uh, maybe. I, if I'm still alive tomorrow because I'm drinking myself to death tonight, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, YouTube.com slash Ski Mask Media. Listen, uh, Stanza, we lost $6,000 last night on one spin. <laughs> Vinny Cash and myself. Vinny Cash is still, we stayed up to 4 o'clock in the morning. We were up uh, $6,500. We had 500 We started with five, and uh, we bought two TVs, and then we completely obliterated the rest of the cash. <laughs> Yeah, not for me. We bought it for the homeless. I'm back at work. I just wanted to check in. I was watching. I got Giannis Papas is at the soccer. I don't give a fuck about Giannis Papas. Dude, this, dude, I, I, I find it funny how you're calling my show when it's our show. Call it a, your show, asshole. Dude, doggy. All right, that's fine, but this is episode 240. Really going to have to air this place. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it one more time because Vinny Cash will match it. Okay, tomorrow. And I'm not Vinny Cash. This is a load of money to me, but I'm doing it. Vinny Cash will match whatever bet. I'm doing it for the YouTube. I'm putting a thousand dollars, one roulette spin, five hundred on black, the other five hundred on the board, and we're gonna spin the wheel one time live on the air. That now that's fucking entertainment. Get that's bullshit. <laughs> it's a waste yeah. of money. <laughs> you don't know you know, you don't ever play one color and the rest on the board. All right, whatever you want to do, that's fine. We'll match. We'll match it. That's fine. Can Vinny pay me back if I lose? No. Me and me and Vinny, uh, we're tight. I went and fixed his pool. He flew me to Utah to flick, fix his pool. <laughs> hey, Mr. Echo just still hasn't got the bag. Yeah, where's that motherfucker? Hey, send my DM. See where's the bag at. Mr. Echo, where's the bag? All right, I gotta go suck green. Well, send me a bag. I need some coke. Love him. I mean, is there anybody funnier, guys? I mean, look, look. He commanded the room. A room he wasn't even in. All of us, silent. Is there anybody funnier than Jim Sansel? No. I I don't think I laugh harder at anything else than I do when Jim Stansel does the mouth thing on the pictures on In Hot Water. That shit kills me. 
It, like, it's it, 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 and some of the stuff, whatever he calls you out about your bullshit, Gino. It, it, it's hilarious. I mean, watch this. This just, is what I love. This is what I love about fucking the. And I, I actually literally did this when I was bringing up. I won't say his name to distract you. It's like when they use vagaries. Like I take so long to answer because I tell the same story using specificity every fucking time. And you go calls you out on your bullshit. Name one bullshit he called me out on. Talking to me? I'm talking to anybody. What are you talking about? You just said a you so just bad. you understand this is what I mean, little Lemmy. What do you what do you you just said he's so good when he calls you out on your bullshit? And I go, I go, why did Pat Dixon no, hit no, me? No, 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 but but your stand so stop. Name one time he called me out on my bullshit. Here's the problem. You didn't respect you know, that. You want to act like you would no. You shut let me, up, and shut I said to Derek, up, and he just goes, I said, Derek, Derek why did he hit me? Oh, that Dave, Felicia thing. Up. I said, what was the thing? Uh, 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 name one time Stancil called me out on my bullshit or I'm leaving. And I don't mean I'm leaving. I'm like, I'm not wasting our time anymore. I don't name one time. time either, Gino. Name one time. I say, when I say that he's so. He, <sighs> listen. I'm from a different part of the country. When I say calling That's out in your bullshit, you this? shut you the this? fuck up. Stop cutting me off, faggot. To answer the question. Shut up. What's the question? Name, tell him the question, Lemmy. Oh, name, name one time when he called you about any bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> it's when Stancil's right. All the time. All the time. Why do you have never on wrong every Tuesday? When I, like, let me tell you, name one time Stancil was right and I was wrong and he called me out on that bullshit. Stancil's, Stancil's always right. What the fuck are you talking about? Name one of the times Stancil was call right him. and he corrected me. Excuse me? Stancil is 100% always right. Do you see? Like, um, let, can, I, can I try to translate drunk ski yeah. mask? Oh, yeah. I love it. Thank you, baby. Okay. I think what he's trying to say is that Stancil isn't a yes man. And you guys have a very good back and forth because he isn't just sucking your dick the whole show. Well, that listen, I love. Hey, all right, let me start this. That I this love. My, Gino, okay. shut up. This is my show. When I started this show, Ski Mask Collective, in April of 2020, I found Jim Stancil from Kevin Brennan. Kevin Brennan is actually the one who told me I should have Jim Stancil on my show. And the first time I had him on, go boom, that's my fucking host. That's my co-host right there. And Jim Stancil has been nothing but fucking words to me. Now look at him. He's a fucking superstar. Done some more spots than Chad Zumach. Huh? How many spots Jim Stancil done? Here's the problem. is you, you you have the same problem I do, Gino. I know what it is. I can see my it. My penis is you, too no, big. No, you have the problem I'm starting to have. You know, and I know, that Jim Stancil is funnier than both of us. No, you you're know, wrong. You, you, the problem bullshit. is, and I say bullshit. this all the time, I set people up for success. And I see that you're trying to act like Stancil's some comedic genius. So it looks like you have. He's him not, he's problem not problem. a comedic genius. I set he's people just up funny. to succeed. And we didn't miss. I love Stancil. He's brilliant. I've said it all the time. It drove certain Shut people up. Not. Stop looking to the left when you're lying to me, faggot. I'm, it's a shame that some people would come on the show, and I said this constantly, they'd see people that were fucking 10 times funnier than them on air, but since they did stand-up, they thought they were funnier and they got mad at them. But the bottom line is, I say this all the time, and Lemmy will agree, it's why I love BYB so much, because as the host, I set people up to succeed. And Stancil's amazing on the air, and I say it all the time. But the, whenever he's not on the show, and I said this when people like, bring back Stancil, I'm like, then don't watch the show the other three days of the week. Don't enjoy it when we have Jake and Louie on. Don't think it's hilarious when Jim Florentine. Stop promoting your other show. We're talking your, about Jim I'm, just, I'm being specific. Don't get. Don't fucking watch when Chanel Omar comes on. I don't care Omar, about what's happening. Don't Thursday watch Frankie Friday. McDonald. Don't I only watch me hot and water. Jim Stanton. I only like watch it like hot water on Tuesday. Show or I'll ban him another fucking month, which don't I never did him. in the first place. Ban him. Bring me in. I only watch in hot water on Tuesday. Sorry, pussy. To Baldy well, Locks. What did I just thank you? I just said if you only stop, like Jim Stop Stanton, promoting other like, motherfuckers that are coming on your show. I so you don't you bring guests on, on to promote their stuff. Drunk. You what? don't bring guests on to promote their stuff. You won't shut the fuck up about it because you're a fucking run mouth. Be -ge 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 -ge. Luby, Luby, was I just answering his question about Jim Stancil saying he's very funny? It's Lemmy. 
Let me did it. Thank you. I'm used to Luby. Let me did I just not answer his question and say this is why you're wrong about Jim Stance you didn't on this? Answer shit. Right. What's going on with the? With Let me Britain? tell him I answered it exactly and concisely. And when fucking you get bludgeoned, Lemon knows back, you didn't. That's why. That's why. Let I me did or I did not? Did I or did I not answer that clearly, concisely? I haven't heard anything clear or concise come out of either of you. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. All right. Look, I'm going to go. I don't yeah, want to the big black cock. It's just Jane. you're both talking over each other. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jane, I'm gonna go. I mean, Jane, when are we gonna I do love something? you, buddy. I Jane, love you, buddy. Mwah. Book me a date. Yeah, exactly. Damn. He does that every time because he knows <laughs> I'm right. Oh god damn, he gets me worked up. It's just because I mean, here's the thing that happened is uh I'm down in Texas, right? Smith okay. County. Uh, in a small apartment, I'm paying six hundred seventy-two dollars for it. Right? Uh, I'm listening to Ari Lang. Cool, good show. Okay, so where that's going from there? Oh, that's gonna turn into Anthony Cumia show, right, Lim? So now I'm listening to Ari and Anthony. Then I find out about Kevin Brennan. Who's also on the show, right? Then I find out about all these other characters. We got Geno's, we got Aaron Burns, and we've got all these guys. I mean, people are, it's just crazy. I'm in a small apartment. And one day, I think it was, I can't remember when I whiz. I got a whiz. Jesus Christ, that was retarded. Uh, I got to figure out when it was. I still had the message from Kevin Brennan. He said, why don't you text Jim Stancil and have him on the show? So I did. No problem. Oh, uh, just interject. Uh, Dr. Chow's back. He's in back. He's, he's back. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, wait. Who? Oh, I'm so Dude, Thank you. I'm oh. getting, I, I have a keg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lim. Yo, Lim, before you uh, go, the, tell the story. Make sure you get another beer, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you got one. Yeah. He's got a keg, Granny. You're muted as fuck. Who's muted? Granny. Well, that's, a, that's his own fault. Cheers, boys. Yeah, that's on me. Uh, Jim Stansel's a retarded midget. Shut dude. Don't. I, I, don't no, I fucking stop. said I know. I said it. And <laughs> I will stick. I know, I know you, you want to come on my show to be a uh, little ridiculous. I like Jim Stansel. Which, which I've also he done is a midget show. and dude, he is Jim retarded. Jim is one of the realest dudes ever. You can't. You can't talk about him like that it's just not funny granny doesn't like anybody funnier than he is that's well, just great i mean granny no, granny, 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 a couple things funny. Funny. granny, granny doesn't talk. like short funny kings because he thinks he is one hey he's funny he is funny <laughs> <laughs> i like jim stancil but he is a retarded midget i jim, i'm i'm jim it out there. funnier than any comic in new york city period end of story I, I I don't dislike fucking funny. Jim Stansel. I'm just saying he is retarded and he the is also... The problem is it's his attitude and you're not helping that by saying that he's not funny. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why don't everyone in the Dabbleverse just come around and say Jim Stansel is Shane Gillis or Jim Stansel is better than Shane Gillis or Jim Stansel deserves to host Saturday Night Live. I mean, the guy, I, 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 no, I've been around the guy at like, say, a gas station. I've been around him. I'm buying nice. a fucking pack of Sour Pot straws, right? And he's just bought whatever he wants, whatever. And just, just the one liners he's dropping for no reason. It, it's <laughs> way funnier than what you guys could ever imagine. I mean, Jim Stansel, first of all, cut it, clip it, tweet it. Let me tell me. When you're about to cut this, I'll say it right now. Go ahead, record this. Jim Stansel is the 100% funniest motherfucker on the entire planet. It's funnier than Shane Gillis. He, why don't you suck his fucking dick already, dude? What I don't have. I, 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 Granny, shut the fuck up. Don't interrupt my goddamn speech again. I'll come down there in Tampa and beat your fucking ass. Is that why the holes cut around the mouth? So you can suck Jim. You got a hole cut around your mouth too because you don't know how to shave, pussy. Shut the fuck up. He's also got white shit all in his beard, Emas. Get it. Shut the fuck up before (laughs) I put my asshole on you. I'll kick you out of this room. (laughs) 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 (la
I'll go play video games. Dude, don't come at me like that about my boys. You can come at me like that. You can call me whatever you want. Don't fucking talk about my boys like that. I'm serious. I never said Jim Stansel wasn't funny. I just called him a retarded midget. And I fucking stand that, by that not, wholeheartedly. That's not okay with me, doggy. Uh, send me the link, BYB. Uh, Lemmy, you got it? I got it. Uh, thank you. Uh, Holy yeah. fucking relapse, dude. This shit's gotten out of control, hasn't it? <laughs> this shit's getting out of control. Nice background. Shut the fuck up coming, to me, coming at me like that. I was trying to make a good fucking point. Okay. Oh, That's not how good Stancil is. Yeah, Stancil is... Dude, you guys are in the midst of one of the best c comedians in the world. You guys think Shane Gillis is funny? Stancil's better. Stancil is 100% better. I agree. What am I? What am I doing? Who did this? Did you do this, Chow? No, I I bounced for a little bit, and I'm probably gonna bounce again pretty soon. I just wanted to jump back on to tell you to get another beer, bro. Fuck yeah! Cheers. I I can't. Uh, I'm not allowed to apparently stop streaming until the beer's gone. Chow, you leaving for real? Where's Mir? So I can yell at him for a little bit. Uh, probably working. I don't know. I could send him the link if you want me to, but nah, fuck him. It's fake. <laughs> yeah, okay. for sure. You guys all know I love you. But, I mean, we could fucking sit here and argue. Love you too, dude. You know no. I love you, Cal. Absolutely, bro. I know you love me too, Ski. No, great. I mean, I was. I mean, <laughs> don't listen. Jim Stantel is by far. The funniest person walking the planet. Here's the problem. And Jim Stansel is probably watching it. Uh, the problem is he doesn't understand that he's funny. He'll never recognize that he's funny. He'll never I said he come. Was, I said shut up. Funny. Shut the fuck up. He'll never okay. come to understanding that he's funny. I mean, you saw the guy control a room by reading someone else's jokes. Everyone loves Jim Stansel. So does Gino. Why do you think Gino left? Gino because to... he's retarded as well. No, shut up. Gino's funny. Gino's a fucking no, no, he's not. He just screams the N-word on stage. I've seen his fucking stand-up. It's just shut screaming up. the goddamn N word. It's not about a stand-up. He likes Gino. Don't let him fool you. I know. It's not about uh his stand-up. Gino's a good egg. Listen. Uh Stancil is better. I'll agree with that. Stancil is better, but Stancil is also a retarded midget. And, 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 and I'll, I'll, to tell you the truth, he could probably beat me the fuck up. I, um, and that would be embarrassing to get beat up by a midget. Granny, why don't but you just, uh, I, I do think you just get on the do. bandwagon and just say who's funny? What are you doing all day? Who's funnier? Gino what are you, what, or no, Stancil? what are you doing all day? Stop interrupting me. What are you doing all day? What am I doing all day? Today? This is the only day that I don't do shit. No, no shit. Your your face is red as fuck you've been drinking since probably 11 a.m., I would guess. Yeah, let me put a fucking ski mask on. No, I, I've been fucking drinking since like nine. Good. I got a ski mask over here. You want to mail you one? Yeah. Ski, ma ski mask collective.com. I'll sign one. Send it to you. For real? No, yeah, Bubba. Draw a dick on it, bro. Dude, do you want the big P shirt? Yeah. You know what? I know Lemmy would love this because it could make her pussy wet. So, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, We're trying to fuck my old lady. Lim, Lim. I'm, I'm so sorry for saying that out that loud. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it might make her pussy wet. Let's see what's going on with the. Uh, see what, I do. Yeah, how yeah fuck you're right. Man, this, you, bro. Dude, I'm drinking a fucking keg, nigga. Shut up. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Don't ask me about how fucked up I am. I'm drinking this whole keg until it's gone. Pussy. You're welcome you're here. I'll kick your fucking ass off the show. Your uh, fucking po pony keg dude, got you this fucked fuck up? up. Muted. Doggy. I drink an 18 pack before this morning. Come on. I'm trying to get uh, addicted to profits and uh, his assistant Morgan on. Oh shit, Libby! What's up, Lim? What's up, Lim? This is the merch song, right? Oh, reminds me of Redbeard. 
How do the fans know what's going on? Listen, I I didn't think it was going to be this crazy, but Tim Stance award a Mongo. Don't be a Mongo. Bunker. Showed to New York City the other day. I gotta say, the shirt looks nice. The shirt looks clean. You put it in the wash, put it in the dryer. Yeah, not nice. Oh. Uh, beautiful shirt, bro. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> cocaine, I'm telling people. Uh, this t shirt <laughs> is 100% available right now. Themaskcollector.com. K-I-C-O-L-L-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-I-V-
Sure. Lemmy's always got the uh, out uh, great outdoors uh, right uh, out her window. So maybe that Kev could at one point in time, it's probably been a while, truthfully, he could talk to his guests. Shut that bird up. Shut up. Eyes. Eyes, eyes. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Pussy. I think it's good. Here, ready to talk. But instead of talking uh, to each other, like we should, because this is what COVID wanted, right? Where you're at your house. You're at your house. <laughs> you're at your house. You're at your house. <laughs> We're sitting here over internet connection. That's pretty gay. That's so gay, I want to stick this fucking keg in my asshole. So, we'll see what's going on. Uh, 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 all these chats are lame. So, some soupies. Uh, if you, someone sends me a super chat, I'll do something <laughs> stupid. Hilarious. But, no, that's the point. Marina it's, wants you to read it, bro. It's, it's it. I just got so distracted. Look at him. He just did the same thing. Dr. Chow, you just fucked up. Where we read somebody's chat instead of talking to each other like fucking normal human beings. Come on. What well, did you pour another beer? Why do you, why do you guys think I don't do fucking this, this many shows? I don't want Gaston. I talk to Stancil because I like to look in his eyes. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at what's going on over there. It's just gay as hell. Who cares? Yeah, for real, dude. The sexual tension between Chow and fucking Quad is unbelievable. Sexual. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all want to fucking suck each other's dicks. That's what I'm saying. Well, fuck, I mean, just I mean, full just blown pull, pull the out. penises out. I, I've already pulled my penis out on both of your shows. So pull the. Oh, I'm waiting for Little Quad. Little Quad made an appearance on Gino's show earlier today. Uh, he shows up pretty much yeah, everywhere yeah. I go well, Gino now. Gino was on here. Who gives a shit about Gino? Gino was supposed to apologize. I'm talking about Little Quad. I'm not talking about Gino. I'm talking about my Who dick. Who the fuck is Little Quad? Exactly. My little, my little fucking homie that hangs out right fucking oh. between my legs all day, yeah. every day. All right, let's see it. And he's got to show up and give you money. That's his little quad. Uh, seventy six Terra Street, uh, apartment F four, New Haven, Connecticut zero six five one two. Jesus uh, Christ! What are you talking about, Luggy? Uh, edit that part out. Back it up, my, back it up 10 my, seconds. Edit that show. part out. Start over. A three, a two, a one. Go. I love that shit. Uh, I do actually enjoy watching podcasts when they say, Edit that part out. Oh, I'm so scared they might find out where I live. It's like, it's like I got a fucking shotgun right here to blast your fucking whole entire head off. <laughs> what are you going to do? We need to edit that part out. Please. Hey, Dr. Chad, do you have a Ray DeVito bobblehead? Yeah, I got one right here. Nice. Milwaukee, huh? Wait a sec. Uh, Chow, Lemmy, you down to hang for a little bit? Sure. All right. Granny, you down to hang for a little bit? Yeah. No, shut the fuck up, you fucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> I need to put you guys in the waiting room for a second. I want to talk to uh, Quad one-on-one. -on -one. Quad time, quad time. Excellent. What's going on? What up, bro? No, what's going on for real? I'm not uh, fucking around. You know I know you. You're all pissed off. What's going on? Oh, I I don't know. I just came to fuck with Dr. Chow. He likes to talk a lot of shit, so I was gonna come Dr. in. Ch Dr. Chow's a good egg. You you're all pent up lately, bro. You know what? We've talked on the phone after the shows, right? We talk on the phone one on one, men to men. You know my name. I know everything about you. You know everything about me. But I'm just looking at your face right now, and you look a little pent up, brother. No, nah, everything's all good. Why, why uh, do you think? Why do you think? I just there's three people in the world that piss me off. Doctor Chell's one of them. So whatever. If I'm gonna come hang out, why does, then... does Doctor Chell piss you off? For what? I don't know. You just got a fucking uh, you're, you're, you're getting, lippy you're little bitch. Up. No, shut up. You're getting worked up over nothing. Quad, come on. Dude, you know I've, ne I've done nothing but respect you. Ever since I've heard your story, have I ever disrespected you? No. I think you're getting worked up over dumb bullshit because you're sitting in that fucking chair. 
No, it's not the chair thing, man. I just uh, been doing a lot of streams, whatever. Uh, well, what I hang I out with Ray, do? and this guy's obsessed with Ray to the point like it's fucking, it's disturbing. And uh, whatever, I just hang out with oh, fucking Ray. Oh, you don't Ray, ever think that maybe he's regular. trying to be funny? He's just trying to have funny like we are. You know who who's gonna be the next to, the next to make a funny online? You. Go on, he's go not on. funny though. That's the thing. He's it just a hang around. Matter. He's trying, and you're getting worked up over about it. Come on, what, dude, doggy? You know I call you. We talk. We have honest conversations. You're one of the smartest dudes I've met. You made a fucking terrible decision when you were younger. And you started this shit with a podcasting and you're becoming funny. Keep it up with that. Stop getting worked up in the bullshit. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious, Quad. Come on. You know I'm right. You know, you know damn well I'm right. And also you 49ers, uh, they got a lost Super Bowl. <laughs> Choke. Choke. All right, so that's what it's about. It's about having fun, man. Stop. Who the fuck cares? Have a good time. Like I said, buy a keg. Have fun. Drink a keg. Who gives a shit? Quad, I always call. All right, we're going to add the people into the room. Ciao. Uh, I want you guys to, uh, you know, have it out. What's going on with Quad's room? Uh, Ciao's room. Doctor Meow took off. He's gone. Yeah, what's going on, Meow? I guess fun. I remember call. Meow, Doctor Meow. All right, no, you guys. You know what? I'll exit my own self out the room. <sighs> nah, nope, ain't happening. Yeah, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, I have a lot to say, but he doesn't apparently want to hear it. So there you go. Some people got balls. Then there's Dr. Mio. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, quad? Uh, so why are you talking shit about me, man? Why? What's your, what's your deal? Why are you doing the... Uh, I know you like are obsessed with Ray DeVito and then I go on his shows and you like to talk shit. What's your problem, dude? Nothing, man. I'm sorry, bro. I, I didn't mean it. I'm really sorry. No, this is like that bullshit you pulled with Ray. That's the exact same thing. You're like, oh, I took over Aries uh, podcast. So, uh, I, I'm sorry, Ray. This is like that fake bullshit you're pulling all the time. You're just full of works, huh? Yeah, man, I'm just stupid, man. I'm just really pissed, so I didn't mean to do it, bro. It's nonsense. Why do you talk like that? Why don't you just talk like a man? I don't know, man. Sorry. So why are you obsessed with Ray DeVito? What, what's your deal, dude? Like, uh, he, he doesn't seem to be so interesting that you could spend all day and night thinking about him uh to be honest i really don't i've just seen this show enough and called out a couple of his hypocrisies and that's about it really so you don't think he's it. just like a goofball that can't what's get his fucking on? mind I mean, right how, how big it, are your guys uh cock size what's going on ray devito's cock size uh listen ray devito's uh, cock I, I, size no, hold on, oh no i don't shut want to think fuck. about this that this is my show this is my show scheme ass collective uh listen uh yeah i'm hammered i'm drinking a but i'm i'm enjoying watching you guys argue so listen quad <laughs> listen let him have it let him have it. If you're angry at Bring the man, it. let him have it. Stop being Tell a pussy me. ass motherfucker, bro. Let's hear it. What are you mad about? I already said I I heard you talking shit about me the other night. So I listen to you guys while I'm on Ray DeVito's show. 
And I hear what you say. I hear you talking shit. talking about me on a podcast. <laughs> I don't know. If I said anything, honestly, it was probably in the flow of jokes. Like, I really mean nothing personal, bro. But you never say you. any jokes. You never have jokes. You don't do jokes. You do odd things like Why question you fucking you Ray DeVito, but it's not a joke. Nobody has jokes. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, just don't take it so personal or just don't watch it. I guess that's my best advice. Oh, well, I don't need well, advice. Here's a good piece of advice, Quad. You know, I love you. Take me to tell us, uh, tell him to take his sunglasses off and look at you like a man. Take your sunglasses off. Let's see it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you don't look like a man anymore. You look better with the glasses on. Put them back on. Jesus Christ. I just don't like your style. I don't know. I You go around trolling people that I like, and you just never admit to the you shit you're pulling. I just don't look like, <laughs> like your style. Exactly. Tell him that. Roast him. Say, yo, I don't like what you're doing with this show. I don't like, you know, I don't understand that. You're doing a perfect job, Quad. And I believe that uh, Dr. Chow feels the same way. So let's see what's going on uh, with the, both of these two. All right, folks. Uh, so what's the payoff with Little Mere Musk and uh, Dr. Chow? What's the deal with that? Why do you go around paying like all these people? Fucking how much, how many thousands of dollars have you guys spent getting uh, people on your show? Honestly, we haven't. I, Mir, Mir books everyone. He pays everyone. So I just show up. So you're just like second mic. You don't have anything to do with the billing. Nothing. Then why does he why does he pay all of his guests to come on? I don't I don't really understand the payoff. What what's the point of that show? Uh just for fun. I think he's paid maybe like four or five guests in total. Everyone else has just come on for free. Uh. Yeah, well, what is your obsession with Ray? Why, why, I've heard you talk about that before a little bit, but like, why, why specifically Ray DeVito are you so obsessed with like every movie makes? I'm not. Honestly, I just, uh, have watched his show enough and I just remember everything he says. So just as simple as that. Well, this ar argument's obviously getting lame. Uh, I see Little <laughs> Lemmy still there. Uh, little Lemmy, uh, please text me. I sent you something on Twitter. Uh, text me back, and uh, we'll see what's going on. We'll see something going on in the background. Uh, I have something to filter. And uh, listen, Quad, listen. When I talk to you on the phone, we're boys. You know that. Always. Chow, we're boys. Always. So it's funny to see the beefs between you guys now i don't got any beef i know dude you gotta go grocery <laughs> shop so you know what i'm saying like i guess uh give it uh yeah dude whatever it's it's all good man i don't really give a fuck uh it is all entertainment in the end of the day i get that um Whatever, man. Keep sniping away. I'll keep sniping Chad. Same shit. Different day. It's all good. Cool, man. Yeah, best best of luck with it. Sounds cool. That's an ugly face. Why is that <laughs> got to be on screen? That's an ugly motherfucker right there. Ski Mask Collective. Getting a little drunk now. What's ah, up, dude? I always see it. Uh, no. Uh, oh, that's a little cool. I guess that's cool. Come on, dude. Why? Yeah, cool, cool. I don't. No, I don't know. I mean, up, well, I'm not really going good. to go off. Yeah, it's it's fucking. Dude, fuck honestly, it. I don't. I'm not even friends, feeling it. I'm a, you want me sitting here fucking roasted? No, like he's not gonna. He's not gonna fight back. So it's 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 fucking pointless. He, he it's like need to fight back. Fight back for what? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like what? whatever. Dude, he doesn't. Off. He doesn't have anything negative to say to me. So why am I going to sit here and bash on him? Know, it's pointless. You told me earlier that you guys going to roast, so I took everybody out of the fucking. He room. has no roast, and he doesn't want. He doesn't want to go there, and I fuck it. I'd rather just fucking move on at this point. Good. That's exactly what this entire podcast was about. You need to move on, Quad, because guess what? 
When Ski Mask Collective started, Ski Mask Collective, I started in Tyler, Texas, in a fucking two bedroom, uh, I don't know, apartment. Did anybody watch? No. All I said was Kevin Brennan sucks. And he caught his attention. Next thing I know, now I live in Connecticut. And a lot of people listen to my show. But a lot of people are trying to do the same thing as me. So people say, oh, is it being a puppet the same thing as a ski mask? Is it? I mean, is being a puppet the same thing as a ski mask? The whole Holy Mexican mustache. Is putting the fucking ski mask on so people click. You know what I'm saying? It's so silly. I mean, everything's so fucking ridiculous. So fucking uh, ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I have to, I have to step have to, uh, very step carefully. Yeah, very this is Ski Mask Collective. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Yes, my name's Kevin Shackelford. K-E-V-I-N-S-H-A-C-K-E-L-V-F-O-R-D. Wow. Oh, Ski Mask gave his address. What an idiot. Did I? 76 Terror Street. Come on, come see. Please, I mean, I'm begging. Don't call me an idiot for giving out my address. Please come see me. I do enjoy the widow speak you have with oh. the balding in the back. Oh, Here's the thing, and I'll explain something to you. Okay. I'll be, uh, be 100% honest. Listen, when COVID, when COVID, for, first started right you got moms you got dads you got five six sisters brothers freaking out right you got everyone and their fucking mother freaking out about podcasts everyone has a podcast right at this point yeah all all, all the podcasts were the same weren't they so in April 2020, I just hopped on Amazon. Matter of fact, I think I was shopping for knives. And I came across a pink ski mask. I said, fuck it, order it. And uh so I ordered one. And went to Galveston Beach, Texas. Uh stole TV, I think, and caught a bunch of fish. Didn't return the TV. Smelling like fish, because it's hilarious. And then we were like, See, oh, you don't have to overshare it. You're oversharing. Yeah, you, uh, it's th- called oversharing. Th- thanks, doggy. Thanks. I'm fucking. Yeah, it's called oversharing, dude. Yeah, I get the keg, bro. That's why I need a guest. All right, I think it's about a little bit over half. Now. Uh, dude. Um, excuse me, Granny Lemmy. Let me, I'm really yelling at you because you're the woman. You should know how to do this. Uh, Chow and uh, Quad. You guys know how to run a show while you're fucking pour beer? God, damn. Yeah, anyway, Ski Mask has a terribly undersized dick. I've seen it. It was terrible. He sat bare-assed on a goddamn leather chair. He said he uh, took so Adderall, so therefore he had the Adderall shrink. So you gotta give him a, you gotta give him a pass for that day. That's what he's asking for, a pass. He I said, my Adderall right now. I feel like that's major fish. shrinkage, major shrinkage. Adderall shrinkage should be taken into consideration. Yeah, but it, a tiny like, as like, Lemmy, have you ever, like Lemmy, have you ever fucked a dude that that was like, oh, I have, uh, I'm on that. Have well, actually. Shit. Yeah, I'm sure Granny probably looks uh, like he has shrinkage uh, every day. Had not doing it. Granny, you could do it. I, I respect Granny. I like Granny. Anybody Why would you do? respect Granny? That's ridiculous. Uh, Nobody what? does. Uh, Why would you I, respect I, Granny? He doesn't deserve any respect. Look at him. Anybody that can fuck a beautiful woman like Lemmy, I can respect. That's a fucking horrible accident, but it worked out in his favor. That's for fucking It's Asian. not an accident. It, anybody who can get to the point to put pipe in uh She Lemmy. obviously has brain damage like Ray DeVito. Lemmy's a smart woman. Thank you. Except for in one area. Granny. I do have notoriously terrible taste in men. 
That is fair, also. No, no, no don't, okay. don't it's fucking fine. throw me. I, I will come in there and domestically abuse you. Y'all Do just it. fucking, oh, y'all just blew my shit up. I just fucking spilled beer everywhere. Spilled it on my goddamn cowhide. I skinned a cow. That's alcohol abuse. No, what are you I doing? Got, I, I fucking, I no, I, I killed a cow. To get yeah, that's cow. alcohol abuse. I mean, alcohol abuse. You know what? You know what's funny? You see that guitar on the right? Vinny Gas said, "If I put my cock between the strings and fuck the guitar and blow a load in the middle of it, he'll buy me an eighty-five inch TV." Did you do it? No. <laughs> I have so I have some level of self-respect. <laughs> I thought you bought two TVs last night, though. We did, but then we blew the money to buy the TVs, and we had to cancel the orders. Very annoying. Uh, I have the cash. You guys oh. blew fucking how much money in uh, gambling oh, last night. night? Let's hear this fucking story. All right. So last night, uh, I'll show you guys some of the film I got. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, can I? One. There's a lot of words you're not allowed to say on YouTube. I love how you guys all have smiles on your faces because you know I'm going to get canceled from YouTube. Like, you're I'm happy. Limmy's happy. And, and Quad's happy. Quad, why are you so happy, Bob? Why? why you, just show, you just show a Gino? Oh, no. That, yeah, that worked. Uh, Steel Toe stopped by, too. And I thought he was going to be fucking. I thought he was going to come after me, but uh, it. Who? See, everything Who? was calm and cool on that show, too, man. Who? Uh, Aaron who? M. Holt. Who? Yeah, who? What's his phone number? <laughs> Your right fucking now. feet oh. don't fit on no branch. Why are you saying who so much? Doggy, you gotta stop. You gotta start taking care of your facial hair. You can be a good looking dude if you take care of facial hair. Oh, his hair, hair, hair. I'm wildly charismatic and That's fucking fine. devilishly so am handsome. I. I'll fuck no, you. No, you're your not. Asshole. That's why you got to wear the I'll goddamn fuck mask. You in your ass, doggy. No, you won't. Why? Because <laughs> we're gonna have a gunfight before that happens. What do you have? What are you packing? Uh, I've got a twelve gauge. Uh, Why'd 22. you look to the right, not the left? You got a twelve gauge point two. That's not gonna shoot more than thirty feet, fag. Okay. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll talk about a gunfight. Shut up. I, I said we would have you try to fuck me in my ass. We we're going to have a gunfight. What? I'm going to put my cock in your asshole and they're going to pull out guns all No. You're going to try and you will be shot dead. For what? Trying to fuck me in my butt hole, dude. Dude, I swear to God, if you come see me in a gunfight, I've seen you on podcast. You will never beat me in a duel. What and body I, I, I do, you're in this I, goddamn I, condition? Matter of, fact, matter of fact, I do believe in Florida, a duel is legal. It's not. And also, like, one pony keg, you are a fucking lightweight. Like, is your liver, like, that fucking stoned? That, yeah, I'm like, trying to it, kill myself. Hardened? I'm bored. I'm bored. I have nothing to do. Yo, someone in the what? chat wants you to play the guitar. All right, fine. What you guys want? All I play is Mexican music. Sorry. Play Oasis. <laughs> no. I, how do you know? How do you know I play Oasis? Everybody with a guitar plays Oasis. Ah, fucking money. God damn it. I knew she'd be a chick I'd like. That's why I said that shit earlier in the Australian podcast. Uh, all I play is Mexican stuff, right? Uh, This better be fucking good. It's not going to be. You fucking already know it's not going to be. It's going to be better than any of you assholes can do, so shut the fuck up. That's not fair, Lemmy. I got, it's so hard to see. I never played a guitar on skin. Oh, Uh, to be honest, I know you guys see the, uh, you know, the guitarist. 
you guys want me to rule, play punk rock, play rap shit. But <laughs> honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I was born and raised in Texas, and I love Mexicans. That's why I'm... Jesus crowning. What, what, what a happened? real treat this has been. What happened, faggot? Why are you talking shit? I got deer skin gloves, bro. I skinned a deer and made these gloves. You like it? Yeah, do you they help them. you play the guitar better? Maybe you should put them on if they do. I gotta find my pick, quad. Come on, quad. You know you're always my biggest fan. Come on. Until you started playing guitar, I was. Quad, come on. Squad, back me up, bro. I can't. I can't, dude. I'm drunk, dude. The whole point is drinking this entire cake, faggot. Ah. What, do you think we're sitting around a campfire now? You think you're back in Texas sitting at a campfire? You asked me skinning to play a guitar, deer bitch. And... What the fuck? What, I, what, what I can't make fun of you now? Play? I have to be like perfectly uh, perfect gentleman to you, uh, or else you're gonna cuss me out. You're gonna get upset. What? Why would I ever cuss you out? We've been there for each other. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, Stevie Lou obviously loves big black cock. Oh, he, he Stevie said, Lou he, talk. He, Here no, we he's go. never had a wife. He's never had a wife. He's always been dating a dude. That I mean, I mean, I don't understand how anybody doesn't get that. Here we go. Here we go. So Stevie Lou is dating a black man. Is that what I I'm here to believe? How do you not get that, bro? That's why it's been a secret this whole time, huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure I brought my girlfriend to Radio Vito's taping. I brought my girlfriend out. My girlfriend actually filmed uh, what we did on the beach. She was there. Nothing was talked about. It's fine. Would you Where's get sand point? in the clam? Uh, not that night. She was actually on a period at the point. But, uh, like, so what's going on with Stevie Lou's wife? Listen, I love Stevie, but if he wants to bring his wife in the situation, it's come to find out that uh, it's coming pretty apparent that Stevie Lou loves cock. And Stevie Lou loves, 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 loves white circles. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me what's I'm white? Wrong, boys. What's white circles? Uh, I don't know. Maybe some cum rings around his eyes. <laughs> okay. Maybe just getting loads, just constantly blown on him. You know what the fuck you want me to say? White I circles. Know, listen, I mean, I I try to be a. a apparent as I can and listen you guys can trash me all you want quad. no I'm curious no, like no, why no, don't you break no, it down no, for no. us let me talk I'm trying quad chow lemme I love me some lemme uh lemme already heard what I said uh unfortunately on a podcast earlier I hope that never gets out uh chow knows I love him uh quad knows I love him listen Stevie Lou doesn't have the fucking sack to come on a podcast. You can get, you get paid cash. Let's talk about this shit. He wants to accuse me of not paying him enough. I told him. He came at me. He said, uh, "Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Lou." That's okay. You have the login. Lou's cannon. Lou's cannon. Yes, sir. Thank you, Quad. He said, "I'm gonna do Lou's cannon." I said, "Go ahead, go ahead, Bubs." Do whatever you want. So he started up. And Stancil and I, of course, are making thousands, 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 and almost millions of dollars, folks. And uh, Loose Cannon is not making any money. And uh, once Loose Cannon sees that we're making so much cash, I mean, <laughs> hand over fist, folks. The fact that he would text me to say, hey, you know, I need some of that cash was bullshit. But no, look, I've, I've, 
already said this. It's already out of my system. Uh, it was just that was all a joke. Stevie Lou and myself, we've scattered everything. Everything's fine. The whole point was what happened. Is you guys are you guys are gonna let me get here drunk? You just gonna look at me without asking questions? Well, I heard well, this I, before. I, yeah, I I was getting to the personal stuff. Like he doesn't want that shit out there. Like what you said to him obviously triggered him. Um, he doesn't want that repeated, obviously in public. But uh, right, I would never repeat that. He knows that. Uh, Stevie knows that he's a personal friend. And he can go on a podcast and make an ass out of himself. And I'm allowed to say that because I am the Ski Mouse host. And the Ski Mouse host says that Stevie Lou fucking stinks on MLC. The Ski Mouse host says that Stevie Lou fucking blows on any other podcast. And they oh, I, I, holy shit. Hold on one sec, folks. Stevie Lou just filmed this. Oh, fuck it. Stevie Lou blows. Yeah, I'm fucked up. It's fine. He and sucks on I weed know. cock. He I got a question. Go ahead. So, who would you say are the top three MLC guests of all time and bottom three MLC guests of all time? Uh, well, let's start with the first. Who's your favorite bottoms? Power ask, bottoms. Ask, ask the first question again. Top three MLC guest? Yeah. Mm. Damn. Damn. No one's ever asked me that. Um, obviously, we got Bush Eddie. He's in there somewhere. It's not number one, but he's somewhere. Uh, you were talking about some guy that was great. That was like some millionaire guy that pissed off Kevin when I was on with Stancil. You remember that? No. He showed you like some bank statement. I'd never heard of him or seen him, but... I was talking about the guy that was on a fair one with uh, with Shane. No, I don't know if uh, Stancil's watching. Throw it in the chat. Some guy who uh, Stancil wouldn't know right now. Stancil's uh, my mom. My mom probably number two, probably best guest. And guess what? Ski mask host number three. Period. End of what story. about Stancil? Is he uh, on a trip? I was but gonna say Stancil's working. Yeah, he he called oh. in. Sorry. Stu um, Caymans, Declan host got it. it Stu Caymans. Stu, yeah, that's the guy that he was talking about. Yeah, Ski Mouse, my mom was great, man. That was right before she had the, uh, you know, right, I would say less than a month after that, she had a fucking uh, stroke, and she'll never be the same again, whatever. But one of the last things she did on this earth was do MLC podcast. But Kevin can't respect me enough because I ate a filet of fish. Fucking faggot. What's the latest with uh, Cabana? When's he going to get on MLC? I called this cocksucker earlier. I don't know what's going on with Cabana. Uh, Chow, listen. I know Chow, uh, somebody clip it. Uh, Quad, can you tell me when you're starting to clip so I can go off? Somebody clip. I don't know. Let me. I'll pull it up. Somebody start clipping. Just give me like, yourself. give me like two minutes, or give me like thirty two seconds. Minutes. I'm doing a show. I gotta finish the entire keg. Did you I pour gotta... another beer? Yeah, I'm gonna pour another beer, but I gotta call Cabana, see what's going on. And you want me to film you calling Cabana? Yeah, no shit, doggy. All right, fine. You have a cell phone, Chow. Chow, you know what's funny? Yeah, I was trying to set it up on OBS. What up? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what's going on? Tell me when. I'll call him right now because he pissed me off earlier today. Let me make a full screen. Yeah. Just record the, the sound. It's recording. Go. I'll call him. I'll call him a bitch. That's fucking faggot. So we got 70. I did. We got a lot of people viewing. Hey. <laughs> Please leave your message for. Whoa! 
I'm gonna call. Uh, bro, don't want to talk I'll, to you. Let's I'll see. My, I know exactly where he is because I, I uh, accidentally last time I was in Texas. Ah, uh, I'm a creep. I do this to my girlfriend. I uh, I waited till he fell asleep, and then I turned on his location on his phone. <laughs> Let me call my dad. Call the Tom. What was his name? Dad. Yeah. What was your name on the podcast? Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog. What's going on? You, is, is T still over there? Did he freeze up? I think yeah, so. I think he did. I'm still the recording, phone? but perfect. Ski. I don't think that's gonna help. Wake up, Ski. Got to try something. Yeah, Ski Mass passed out. He's uh stuck in that position, passed out. That's unfortunate. That's gonna be uh, he's gonna have a sore neck when he wakes up in the morning and a wrist. Let me see. Right out. There we go. Shit, I stopped recording. Yeah. Oh, did, did he get it changed out? Hey, uh, hold on one sec, Dad. Uh, you know I'm half deaf, so I have to put the headphones on. Let me, uh, Chow, can you guys hear my father talking? Yep. Yeah, now we can. 100%. All right, cool, cool. All right Pop. So, Dad, uh, so Trav came over. He changed the light. Uh, movie two lights, yeah. Well, that old lady backed it, or somebody backed into it. They won't inspect his truck with a broken tail light. Well, no shit. Well, the light still works. It's just got a piece of plastic that's busted out of it. That don't matter. As long as shit cracked, they ain't going to inspect it. No, they just want to be assholes. Yeah, hey, that's, that's, that's easy money. I don't, I don't get it, man, because I see some of these trucks rolling by <laughs> pulling lawn equipment. Uh... Ain't no lights on them, ain't no license plate on a trailer. It just depends on who you are, you know. Let me ask you something, Dad. Let me ask you something. Uh-huh. Is there any way you could join my podcast right now? Right now, no. I'm still out picking up shit out in the yard, trying to get done before dark, man. It's 6.30. It's dark as fuck here on the East Coast. Uh, it's not dark here, man. It's only five. Dark I got a here. lot. Of, I got like I got four or five people here that want to that want to see you. Well, I'll, I'll get on one day. I promise you. All right. All right. Oh, why did why didn't you uh you didn't respond to the the kitty text? To the what? The kitty text, man. I sent you a picture of the coon. Oh, all your cats? Yeah. Yeah, you know. You look at me like you got half a dozen of them, son, bitches. All right. Now, yeah, so tonight, uh, I know you're going to hate me. Uh, yeah. I bought one of those Heineken kegs, and I'm going live. I'm live right now on YouTube, if you want to go to YouTube.com slash Key Mass Media. Uh, and I'm not ending the stream until I'm done drinking the entire keg. I don't think that's a very smart idea. You're going to end up back in the hospital. Well, no. If you want to be a if you want to be a dumbass, hell, you're nearly thirty years old. Go ahead. Well, dude, we won six thousand dollars last night, and we lost it in two, three spins. Yeah. All right. When when are the dates for April? Because I want some of the fans to come out. Uh, I don't know. It's like mid April. I have to look it up. I told you, text me that shit. I want the bosses know. I've been busy, man. I'm trying to get. I know you're coffee. busy, but text me the date so I can book the tickets. All right, I'll have to look it up. What's it look up? It's Swan. They've never yeah, done a vintage race at Swan. I don't remember the dates. You can look it up just as easy as I can. Yeah, but but when you send it to me, that makes it me want to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm right, gay. I'll I love cock. I'll look it up and send it to you. Join the stream. Come on. No, nah, man. I got shit to do. Join for like five seconds just so everybody no, can see. I'm out here in the yard, man. No shit. Yeah, I just got out the mower, dude. 
Uh, how, dude, how is the new mower? Dude, can you just join the stream and show us everyone the new mower? No. We Not have today. we have over 170 viewers. Not today. Dad, can I see my TM? Uh huh. Can I see my TM? Oh, not today. Tell them that dog shit ain't going nowhere. The dog shit ain't going nowhere, doggy. Huh? The dog shit ain't going nowhere. Show us a TM. No, I ain't got a turn, turn right now. You should have given me some notice, man. I, I, well, I mean, what? I mean, there's no way to give notice when you when you're you know uh, important shows. I got little Lemmy. I got I got little Lemmy. She's a sweetheart. She lives in Florida. I got Dr. Chow. Uh, I'm not sure which state he lives in. And I got fucking Quad Father. He lives over the uh, the, the West, West, West Coast. United Nations here. All right. Well, have a good time. I got to get after it. Bro? Yeah. You will be gay as hell. Send me a picture of the team or something. All right. I'll send it to you. You being gay as hell because Travis is there. I don't know what's going on. Travis ain't here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd Travis go? Huh? He went to work. <laughs> Bullshit. I know where he went. Okay. Whatever. Come on, doggy. You really gonna hang up the phone? Yeah, I gotta go, man. For what? Huh? I'm I'm live on my show right now. Why do you have to go? For what? Never mind. That's exactly what uh, happened to me when I moved up here. You know, you, you start to realize that he's right. He, Dad's he only got 20 minutes he is before dark to get his dog shit picked up. And that's all that oh. fucking matters, man. He's going to get that shit picked up before fucking dark. And that's all there is to it. Done deal. I gotta go, dude. I gotta go make dinner. Yeah, like a I, real I gotta go eat too, bro. So I'll hang out and run uh, for a little bit. I'll watch you die. I guess that's what that's what everyone's saying. I'm gonna hang out and watch you die, oh, drinking beer. Nice. I'll yeah. be in the chat. I'll be in the chat hanging out. Let uh, me leave him. On. Let me. Yeah, I gotta go make right? dinner. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out to ski. So quad man, take it easy. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, you have my number, right? Uh, I like, yeah, I got your number. I don't like talking to you on uh, Twitter. All right. Well, well, we'll catch up, man. Take it easy. Maybe mix in a water in, in, like halfway through the keg or something. So. For what? Okay. I don't know. The whole point is to, to help you pee a lot, I guess. I, I, I have to take a Guess real some... big piss. So, Quad, if you want to if you want to run <laughs> Ski Mask Collective, I'll go piss right now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, man. I didn't want to do it in front of the lady. <laughs> Yeah, check out Ski Mask. Look at this guy go, folks. You fucking are in for a treat uh, today. Quad, just go fucking uh, just talk about uh, how big Jim Stansel guy is. Fl uh, flimsy, come on. I've never seen his hog. I fucking, dude, I, I put my hog out there everywhere. I put it Why in Discord. I Yeah, I know I'm not running. Thanks a lot, Flimsy. I really appreciate that. You. I, I know I can't walk. Jesus criminy flimsy. Why are you picking on a poor little quad? You guys see uh, uh you guys see the little quad out there. He's making the rounds. Um uh, you haven't seen I I can't believe you uh, have hey, not hey, hey, quad, quad, quad. Here here's why I love you. And I called you a couple of weeks ago. I told you you're doing a great job being a host. You you try to do the same thing I am doing. You're speaking too fast. Speak slowly. Slow try it. down. Just try it. Just try it right now. Just try it. Try speaking slowly. <laughs> Motherfucker. Were, dude, doggy, the way you were just speaking was the same way I speak when it comes to, hey, doggy, yo. Oh, so what's going on? Uh, what's happening? What's going on in the peace size? Huh? Big asshole? Huh? How big is your third toe? What's going on? Well, I thought I thought that was the compliment that I talk fast and talk like you. Uh, I, I I would think you would like that. What the fuck's up with that, man? Why are you cussing me out for talking fast? What the hell? I'm trying to get a lot out quick. Uh, there's so much to talk about. Uh, yeah, so 
Fuck you, ski mask, you piece of shit. I can't believe you're uh, trying to drink yourself to death. Oh, uh, man, fuck. Why, why are you doing this to yourself, dude? We, we had the fucking sorcerer was trying to fix you up and fix your mind, get your mind right, but apparently that didn't do any fucking good, did it? Not one bit. So here we sit, watching Ski Mask, drinking again. Is he going to pass out? We all got to stay up all night now? Worrying if uh, fucking Ski Mask is going to pass out and bump his eye on the corner of his couch like Chad does all the time? Uh, end up getting a fucking another seizure. I know this is a downer, right? I mean, isn't that what we tune in for watching the train wreck? But we don't actually want to see this train fucking wreck. We like Ski Mask. He's a good guy. Why would we want to see that happen? So hopefully this dude gets his shit together. What do you guys think? What are the chances that this guy could quit drinking for an entire year? Maybe we ought to do a challenge where we, uh, instead of encouraging all these guys to drink themselves to death, why don't we raise money to see if they can quit drinking for like a year? Did we do that with Chad? Actually, I think maybe we did do that with Chad, but he's such a fucking liar. You can't keep track of these guys to see if they're uh, being honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. That That's a tough trick, right? Trying to see if we can keep up with these guys to make sure they're not actually drinking. Uh, yeah, look, it's me. I'm just keeping out so Go ahead. Whatever. We're trying to get you to quit drinking. We're we're gonna start a competition. Who's we got where, a mouse in your pocket? No, the entire Dabbleverse is gonna start fucking trying Dude, to get you guys to clean all, up and get your no, act doggy. straight. First of all, tell the Dabbleverse to stick the Dabbleverse up their asshole. Who cares, bro? Really? Who who gives a shit? Me. Oh, I no, want no. you to quit. I want no, you to quit I love drinking. You too, bro, but come see me. Have you come see me? Would you enter the phone if I called you? No, you wouldn't. So I'm glad you're here I, now. Well, I answered the fucking phone when well, I was in the middle of Gene's show. Problem. I answered it. You don't have to argue with me. Listen, the whole entire point <laughs> is, is that I'm going to finish this entire fucking cooler tonight. I know, but tomorrow's a different day. That's my point. Well, I'm not worried about tomorrow. I'm worried about right now. I'm worried about how right. much. How well, much I'm not trying to be a going. bummer on you or anything like that. that I get cool. it. Man. I, I, you don't I need to hear a bummer it, on a... you. Then I would be right there before you fucking slammed your tailbone. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I respect it. When we talk off the air, I'm on the air right now on my show. When are you going to kiss and make up with Stevie Lou? I'm not until he calls me on the phone. He called me uh, two weekends ago and he said, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Oh, uh, you know, I'm sorry. And I said, yep, I'm sorry about my bullshit. You know, there's nothing that makes you feel better as a man than when somebody else fucks up and they call you and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. That's it. Easy. So done. It's very easy. People still ask, why you do a ski mask? You know, you you got pickles out there. You got oranges out there. <laughs> Tukey. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, here, here's what are Shut you doing? Shut up. Shut up. What quad, are we doing? Quad, quad, quad. Do your thing. Quad, quad. Relax. Listen. People want to say, oh, you're doing the same thing. Oh, Tukey. Oh, he, he's the best. Tuki is the best. Tuki's the funniest thing in the fucking devil verse right now. And I know you hate the puppet. I know. I get it, man. I wire right here. Got a wire. Got a glass. Got a keg. Doing my thing. I don't think he would do that. Let me explain to you guys something. Get closer to the Honestly, camera. I want to explain. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, I don't know why you have to do this, but uh, Brennan, your show stinks. It's the same show every fucking week. Everyone knows it. Uh, Jim Stancil is the funniest person in and around the dabble burst. Of course, he's not about that. Uh, I moved 1,500 miles away just to try to get to know you, but yet you were a fucking douchebag and you had puppets on the show. That's fine. Now you're a loser, Gav. You're just like all of us. 
All the guys. They come to fucking Atlantic City, Kev. Go on. How are you not a loser, Kev? Why? Don't make me say it. You know why. What are you doing? Think you're doing stand-up? Because you're not. <laughs> it's so pathetic and it's so funny. It, it's like, you know, uh, you got guys like Stevie Lou for a year. You got guys like uh, Chuck Jean for a year. Who's a good egg, one of my best friends in the world. And, uh, you know, all these guys support, no matter what, Kevin Brennan. I mean, Kevin Brennan could fucking put a 12-inch knife in a cop's heart. It don't matter. We're there. That is That was the whole point of the OGs. The OGs didn't give a fuck. We always had KB's back. But when it started coming about money... You quickly saw, I guess I got to do it now because I'm drunk and I told you guys they're going to drink this whole thing. Here's that. Eye in the Sky, Chuck Mejian, Jim Stancil, Aunt Mead, uh, Teams of Tim, couple of Brown Snake, who do you have there? Ski Mass Hosto, obviously. Oh, uh, you're the last one to get me, faggot. Uh, 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 uh Matty Arp, Matty Arp. Sorry, I always forget you, Matty Arp, but you were good. Paul Finns. I mean, those guys would literally kill for KB in his prime. But KB blew all those guys off. He's a bitch. <laughs> Brennan. You're a bitch. I know you think it's funny at this point. Um, no, to retract statements. Oh, I hear me said this. Hear me said that. Brennan, there's a reason the OGs like to listen to you. But sometimes the stuff you say is the stuff that they're thinking and the stuff that they can't recreate. And it makes them feel at home. At home. Uh, so it makes them happy. That's the whole reason about OGs. Why the fuck do you think we all fell in love with you? Eye in the sky. Oh, fuck, man. I forgot. Ah, oh, shit, dude. I forgot. Uh... Oh, if I can't think of his name, I'm going to fuck a real asshole. What's his name? Oh, my God. He's one of the best, too. I... Hack Jokerson. Hack Jokerson. Hack Jokerson, Gav. Hack Jokerson. Hack Jokerson. Brown Snake. Eye in the Sky. Teamster Tim. Ant Mead. Jim Stancil. Chuck Manjon. Ski Mass Host. Go Bravo. What's I hate to say? Go Bravo. I still feel like I forgot somebody, though. So what are you saying? You, you're you not happy that he replaced all those people with Chad, Ray, and Stevie Lou? Is that pretty much what it comes down to? Huh? Now, what I'm saying is... You, just, is, you don't like no, the change no, in crews? No, no, or no, you don't like no, the, no, 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 the no, loyalty no. shit? Loyalty what I'm, shit what I'm, Yes, 100% loyalty. What I'm trying to say is... Is that Brennan... He... Brennan's whole motive this entire time, what 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 the fuck makes Brennan funny is that he's a fucking dick. It's hilarious. Always. Yeah, you know, Brennan Kevin Brennan is an asshole. Even hanging out with him, I, I took him to get a fucking burger in Atlantic City. He was a dick the whole time. He tried to tip some bullshit money. I threw money down. You know what I mean? But there's a reason why guys like the OGs like him, you know, and I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of that. If I even am, I don't even know if I am. I don't check. I know all those guys that just fucking, and I'm starting to, for, I'm starting to realize that, uh, that Brennan is really, Start to focus more on the paychecks and start to forget about the old boys. 
I mean, there was a time in Atlantic City, dude, where Brennan, he, he couldn't find shit to eat. He walked in a candy store and tried to buy some candy bars. I was like, Brent, come on. I grabbed his ass. And we go out, like a, a burger shop, right at fucking third floor. He goes, woo, woo, third floor. let's go. You know, basically drug him to a fucking, just to buy a hamburger. It's just silly to think if you listen to those old tapes. It's like, you know, you know me, bro. You know me. You know all my fucking calls. Fair one, all that stuff. It's just annoying. It's, 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 uh, I wouldn't say, I mean, it is annoying, but it's worrisome. So what are you going to do next? You can keep talking about stuttering, John. <laughs> really? For what? For what? For what, Cal? For what, Cal? I was at a party one time. Big party. I would say 50 to 75 people. I think this was at, uh, was that my girlfriend's, was it her brother? Your brother's wedding. Place is popping. I told him I just happened to say something because I was drinking. I said something like, oh, yeah, you know, I do some funnies on the weekends, whatever. Oh, tell me a joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's your favorite comic? I always stay. I always stop it. Kevin Brennan is the funniest comedian ever. Period. End of story. There's no one funnier. There's no one that will ever be funnier. Uh, excuse me. I know you're looking down. Look at me. Look at me in my eyes. There's no one funnier than Kevin Brennan. Please clip it, cut it, tweet it. And uh, he he's going to trash me and say I did this for some malicious reason. I don't care. But there's a reason I know you. That's Brennan. There's a reason I know Stancil. Brennan. There's a reason I know me, Brandon. There's a reason I know uh, Chuck Manchon, Brandon. If if it wasn't for Kevin Brennan, I wouldn't know any motherfucker here in the East Coast. I wouldn't know this. I wouldn't be in this house if it wasn't for Brennan. But that's fine, you know, because Brennan, you know, does all the shit, whatever. Sit down and think about Brendan's jokes. Go ahead. Bring it up. I'm tired of talking to myself. Where, where'd Lemmy go? They all left. Uh, I think they had dinner and well, some were shit gay. to do, man. Lim- People I said- mean, Lim- no, Lemmy's cool. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, uh, she's great. Who we sending Lake to now? Everyone. Shout Everyone. Out. To make comment. Put it in the chat. Yeah, I told you guys. I told you, motherfuckers. I'm drinking an entire keg. Oh shit, it's almost it's loose. New. No, I'm not doing that. I, I swear, quad. If you fucking betray my trust by doing that, I'm out. No, no, I didn't send out the link, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't do puppets. We do not do puppets. Oh yeah, let's get the puppet in here. No. Yeah, but Dabbler, he's fucking awesome, dude. I don't know what your deal is, why you hate that guy, but dude, did you see him doing the Gino bit? Fucking, that was amazing. You cannot say that was not funny. Did you? You uh, fucking saw uh, it. Excuse Tell me. me. Th- th- think about what you just said, please. Yeah, think the about, fact that he was think playing about what you just the said. Gino think, instead of the puppet. No, but no, I love before that, before that. I'm calling you out. I was asking you no, specifically you said, why you don't. You said, you said, think about it, why that would bother you. Why? I am the ski mass host. I mean, dude, obviously, it don't take but a dick of balls to pull the ski mask. I don't give a fuck about that. The whole point of the fucking ski mask was to do something different. To get Kevin Brennan's attention. And now you got these fucking clowns doing pop. So Tukey did something to, to get attention. To do something different. What? He was beat He's a fucking... He's Tukey. He's a... 
he came up with an idea of a puppet that was made by the jizz of Ray DeVito, which is hilarious, his name dude. Dookie. My name's Kevin Shackelford. What was his name? You know what I mean? Rocco. We know it. It's, not, it's so gay. It's it's literally gay. I, like every well, I mean, literally, like, it is I, gay because yeah, it is. So uh, it's allegedly fucking Ray Devito's cum that made him come to life. So that is kind of gay. I'll have to. I'll have to say that that part's call true. Call Ray now. Call call Ray. Send him a link. I give him the podcast right now. I'm serious. Oh, fuck. It's just like it's so dumb how people think they're so cool by. Oh, you know what? I came up with a new bit. I put on a mask and I start doing a puppet. Sesame Street fag. It was in the seventies. I I literally when like COVID started, I put on a pink ski mask and talked shit about Brennan, and that's exactly how that started. That's all I had to do. Because number one, my jokes are funny. Number two, I knew what to say. Pussies. Do your plug squad. They uh, want me gone already. See. Who? I didn't do nothing. No, Flimsy's Wait. awesome, man. Flimsy with the link, whatever. Cake, oh, KB's in here. Where's Teamster, K? You talked to Teamster lately? He's uh, he's been very silent. Oh, I'm supposed to stay live until this fucking keg is gone. We gotta get somebody else in here. Yeah, I'll send it to Ray Devito right now. Dude, I don't want my fucking lady coming home from work and finding me dead in here. Oh shit, yeah, I still got like half a keg. But bro, that uh, that's an honest case. Listen, I was thinking about this when I was at work earlier. Listen, all I fucking did, Quad, and we've talked about this off the air, and now we're going to talk about it on the air. I happened to be shopping on Amazon today. I saw pink ski masks. I said, I thought it was hilarious. This is how crazy life is, right? So I ordered it, and. Uh, I made a funny video about stealing a TV. I made a couple more funny videos. Then I made a funny video about uh, making fun of my favorite podcast and my favorite comic, Kim Brennan. Well, he got wind of that. And uh, next thing I know, Chuck Manjon caught wind of that. So I met Chuck. Next thing I know, I'm banging the sister. Sorry, Chuck. You know, I mean, you know what happened, obviously. So we're dating. <laughs> it's just that didn't work out, obviously. For I mean, you know what, Chucky? I know you're not going through a good time right now. I'm not going through a good time right now. I'm going to be co- fucking completely honest with you. I love your sister to death. She's one of the best people I've ever met. I love myself to death. I'm one of the best people I've ever met. You, your sister, and myself can never work there's no way it can work Chuck Uh, your sister and myself it's just it's constant firestorm there's no way that could ever work Uh, I would love to become friends with your sister Chucky but that's up to her at this point Uh, she's a firestorm I'm a firestorm it's not gonna happen what a motherfucker saying. Uh, how do we... Uh, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's, you know what? This is my stream. 77 people in the chat. Let's go. We got 223. Uh, Gang's still a little bit full. All right. Um, uh, you gotta I got to go. Uh, I'm going to go let my dogs in. I'll be right back. Let me be right back. So you can leave me here alone? For two minutes or less. Leave me here alone. Leave me here alone. Leave me here alone. I'm trying to teach you something. Leave me here alone. Then come back. Go. Just leave. I can still hear you. Just leave. I can see you. So can everyone else. Imagine dating a guy in a sister. He's one of my best friends in the world, brother. I don't want this camera, sir. What am I going to do? Get rid of his ass. 
<laughs> I know, man. It sucks with those left wrists. Decline. Decline's a real ass dude. Like, he watches all these shows. Yeah, it sucks. But, uh, you know, it's just like, I, I am proud of uh, Quad Father. I mean, he has become a very, very good podcasting host. What do you want me to say? I'm not going to lie. We miss you on MLC Young Kid. Who put that up? Yeah, who put that up? Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Who the fuck did, did who, who, how, does he have access to my shit? I mean, I bet that out. We miss you on MLC Young. Yeah, I'm getting trashed. Listen, I told you guys. I, uh, I'm drinking an entire keggy. So if anything wrong, boom happens, uh, it's blame it on the keg. No, listen, blame it on myself. I'm getting fucked, and people seem to love love the the the, the live stream. So, uh, that's the best I can do. I mean, listen, you know, I'm I was depressed as fuck today, man. Now I got I got deer skin gloves on the ground. Oh geesh. You know? And that's not fun. What's funny about that? That's not funny about that. What's dog poo? Somebody sent a message dog poo. What whoa, where's my phone? Alright. Oh let me, I gotta find my phone. But this is why I needed the other host, because I gotta find my phone. I'm I'm drinking a tire keg. It's hilarious. There's something not funny about drinking a tire keg. Uh, oh, oh, I played it too fast. Are you geesh? Uh, excuse me. The phone, though, honey. Oh, did we have a little uh, interaction with Heineken? What's going on with them cocksuckers? You know what I mean? That's another thing. I, I'm about to go off of that shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Duh. Heineken, listen. Let me explain something to you, Heineken. And I hope that this uh, <laughs> meets most well. Heineken, you sent me I have it right here. I could pull it up if anybody doubts me. A cease and desist letter, right, Heineken? From what? A shit beer? Hmm? Oh, you're you're upset because no one's drinking Budweiser or Bud Light? Oh, oh my God. I just drive around town. I get so upset. Just driving down the street, I have to come home, lock my door, pull out my SKS and my fucking crossbow because I'm so upset. It's like two nights ago. His dumb white cunt. Sorry, I'm glad to say it. See, I don't know how to click out of that. I don't even care. I'm just ran. Uh, where's me? I'll call him. Me, call me. A uh, dumb white cunt pull in. Easy. Uh, she pulled in in my parking spot, so I happily backed up and uh, I parked on the other side. And uh, she continued to go upstairs, which is fun. I'm I'm totally okay with that. She went upstairs. That's fine. That's her home. She just bought the place. <laughs> Was she playing Zeppelin? No. Nah. Floyd? No. Nah. Quint? No. Nah. Kiss? No. Nah. Nothing worse in the world than white bitches who are young. Don't get me wrong, young. I get it. I understand why their brains are confused. 
But uh, white bits is blaring. Uh, excuse me. I don't care if I get banned off YouTube. Nigger music. Um, and that's it. Uh, very quickly, easily done. And that's just the way it happens. Listen, I, I did a side job this morning. African-American lady. Let me tell you something. I walked in that bitch's house. I did all the cabinets. She started yelling at her kids. But shit they ain't done. Beautiful. Beautiful, exactly what they should have been yelled at about. Fucking awesome. I mean, that's what America's all about. But there was something when I was asking her to pay me about coming back tomorrow. There was something scared in her head. And what I think it is, is the fact that she doesn't understand because I live in the Northeast, folks. I live here on the northeast uh i'm not in texas anymore where i used to be able to take care of business do whatever the fuck i want yeah i know you guys see how i'm fucking built i can do whatever i want because i'm a white male and i'm straight i love me so bossy. uh listen i went to go work for an african-american lady today she said i don't know what's wrong with my drawers <laughs> That's exactly the reaction I had. I honestly busted out laughing. I thought it was hilarious. Hey, what do you mean, what's going on with the drawers? Because the dude who stole them, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, stole these. Oh, I'm talking to Hold on. Let me try to do the reaction share. Motherfucker, I heard. That motherfucker just installed this shit. He paint the shit and get the fuck out of that city. Uh, I'm still talking to him. Uh, yeah, that is a motherfucking contractor, man. This motherfucker, he came in, he put the fucking drawers in. I was happy at the fucking first. Then I started cooking some motherfucking shit for this motherfucker. I mean, what's going on with these blacks out there? Uh, we miss you on MLC, y'all. Can't keep fucking caring about that link. Yeah, I'll fuck him right now. Call him. I don't care. Who's here? Still got the kit. What? No, I'm going to try to break the video, apparently. Uh, yeah, that's what was going on. Sorry, guys. I was going off in a uh, big rant to Vito. Um, I mean, listen, folks. Here's all I really want. So... I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be I want somebody to clip this. Honestly. Clip it. Clip it, cut it, tweet it. Honestly. Seriously. This is a one hundred percent true. I moved here for a woman. That didn't work out. Chuck Manjon knows that. That was his sister. I love that woman to death. Always. Always will. Uh if anybody ever fucks with that lady, I mean I totally understand. I mean Try to do your thing, but I will fuck you up. Uh, one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. I understand why it didn't work out, and I'm okay with that. <sighs> Since I've been here, listen, I've been trying to make it as a person, doggies. Uh, no, I'm not trying to do anyone wrong. Everybody wants to try to ski myself. That's fine. Trust me. It's easy. It's so easy to crash. Trash. Trash. See, I said crash. We said to trash. It's like Gino. Gino's pussy ass hangs up earlier. Gino's a bitch. She won't fucking call me. I tried to apologize earlier, but he wouldn't talk to me like a man. What am I supposed to do? Well, somebody, uh, somebody was supposed to join this earlier. A second ago. Oh, all right. You know what? My mask smells like beer. Probably, Holy fuck. <laughs> I just thought about something. I haven't stood up <laughs> since I started drinking. I don't know where this where this comment came from. Where's this comment? Um, so I can get it off my fucking screen. Uh, 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 thank you, MG, dude. Thank you so much, your sweetheart. Uh, now I have to scroll to the bottom because I'm like Kevin Brennan. I'm just worried about the money. 
My name's KB. All I do is worry about the money. And then when I have guys like, uh, you know, Bushetti on Ogish. Uh, all right. Cool. Thanks, man. If he's if he's a dude, that's fine. But listen, the whole point of the show is I'm drinking this entire keg. That's so why I might be fucked up. If that's a dude, that's fine. He's still a good egg. Uh, somebody said I'm Kim Brennan Link. Send Tommy to Tommy. Uh, simple shed you the link. K. KB, you know I love you. You better be taking care of my fucking boy. Kevin's live? Are you serious? What the fuck is pussy? Here? Where's my phone? God damn, Kevin Smith's a fucking bitch lately. Where's my phone? Oh, where's my phone? Drink keg. And this is the time where people will start commenting. Oh, you know, maybe you're too drunk to call Kev. Oogie. Shut up. Uh, whoa. Mark, come on. I'm obsessed with Kevin Brennan. No. Um, I want to address this. Uh, excuse me, Mark. Obsessed. That kind of rubs me. I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this. Um, I'm not obsessed with Kevin Brennan. Not at all. I know I'm talented. I know for a fact I'm talented. Um... I care about Kevin Brennan. Dummies. Ah, geesh. Listen. Uh, who we, uh, what are we doing? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I think it's halfway done. I was rooting for your ski. What's that mean? Kay, call me. You have my phone number, Kay. What the fuck? Kay, call me right now on my phone. I, I can't find my phone. Somebody call me. If I can find my phone, I'll call KB. Yes, Kevin, here's the thing, folks. Kevin is scared of guys like myself and Stancil. Listen, there's only a couple, less than 10 OGs. Stancil and myself are one of those OGs. Stancil, Mead, uh, myself, Teamster Tim, Eye in the Sky, Brown Steak. These guys are heavy hitters, and there's a reason that these motherfuckers all know that Kevin Brennan is the funniest fucking comic that will ever walk the planet. There's a reason we always follow no matter what happens. Listen, I could sit here for four to five hours and trash, completely put Brennan's MLC in the trash. It's not going to matter. It's still funny. I'm only putting it in the trash because I care about it. It's the fucking funniest podcast ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's, it's, that's what a lot of the fans don't understand. This is me wrapping it up. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Brennan. I'm sorry. Somebody clip it, tweet it. I'm sorry for eating a filet of fish in front of a fucking therapist. Sorry you didn't think that was funny. Because you couldn't get over on me. Sorry I asked the therapist how big his fucking cock was. Sorry. Uh, what do you want me to do? You know? I, so, I, I, dude, Brennan, listen to me. Somebody clip this too. <laughs> I gave your mom. I gave my mom your email. I'm, Jesus Christ. That's how pissed off I am about it. I can't even fucking get my words right. I give my mother a reason to go on your show, Brent. 
What, what, what more do you want from me, man? What do you want? Stevie Lou's? Is that your biggest fan? Is he giving you his mother? His wife? His cock size? Come on. Uh, Lady Slug, $5. My favorite show after NL Lou. You should do a fan meetup. If you're speed running that this year, beautiful. Love it. Uh, I do love that. Uh, I would have to say that NLO was funny. He was the funniest person I met. Uh, here's somebody I haven't talked to in a while. What's going on? What's up, buddy? I'm driving, so it's just me talking into the phone. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, what's up? How are you, sir? I'm not too bad. How you doing, bubs? I'm fine. Heading to, heading to Jersey. Jersey? Fucking New Jersey. It's raining. I'm on I-80. I avoided the I-80 killer, whoever the fuck that guy is. I hope they catch him so people will leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> he already got caught or he's dead. I mean, uh, Oh, he got going? caught? You... Oh, all right. Then he's gone. Yay. Hey, are you going to Tapes of Tim's house? Um, I don't want to say where I'm going because uh, I, I don't know wanna... where you're going. You know, you're, you know, he's my best friend, right? I might see Team Sir Tim this weekend. I'm not sure. I hope to. He's I a handsome know where gentleman. You're going. He's my best friend in the world. He'll call me right after this just to laugh his balls off. How are you doing? What's going on? Here, here's what I got to say. Stop tweeting. Get off Twitter. If you're going to do comedy, just keep doing comedy. I'm fine. I'm fine on Twitter. I don't care. I tweeted half ass jokes today for the sake of it. Yeah, they're bad jokes. They're supposed to be bad jokes. It's Twitter. Who gives a fuck? Me. I'm fine on Twitter. Don't worry about me on Twitter. I I'm, can. I'm doing all right. No, are you? I'm doing fine. No, 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 no really, Ray. Ray. Ray, are you doing Stop all right? Drinking. You're gonna die. Be serious. Are you doing all right? Uh, yeah. You, I'm worried about. You gotta stop drinking. Why? You don't worry about yeah, me. Yeah, you just uh, asked me nine I, times. If, no, if if I wasn't on a podcast, and I would have. Uh, Pick up my phone and call your phone number. You would not answer the phone. So I know you're not worried about me. Jesus Christ. You can call me. You didn't call me. It doesn't matter. I worry about your health. For what? Because I know you're going to die if you keep fucking drinking. No shit. I know you don't. I know you don't. The point is, I'm going to die unless I get some boys to fucking gather around. If I pick up the phone and call someone and they don't answer, oh, but I bet you'd answer if a comedy club called you, right? They're not calling. I, I, I rarely right. answer my phone. Anyone calls. I don't know when people are calling. So what's up? How's right, the you show? Know what? Right. You know what? I love you. All right. Stop acting like a fucking dickhead on MLC. Listen, I'm going to explain something to you, right? I'm getting drunk as hell tonight, and that's why I'm talking like this. Stop letting people walk all over you, Ray. You have to stop that. Ray, you're a real-ass dude. I'm fine. I, I go back and forth with Brennan. Shut the, Ray, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You're, I get it. Stop letting people walk over you. It's pissing me off. I didn't let anyone walk all over me. When fucking Starting John and Stevie Lou did, I fucking went off on them. And Who? Now, I'm, now I'm roasting both of them Who? on Thursday. Who? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Who? You know what I'm exactly. saying, Ray? You know what I'm saying? We're both funnier 10,000 times than those clowns. Come on. And now, and now you're taking time out of your work day to write jokes to roast who <laughs> Stevie well Lee. i already wrote them i already wrote them so they're better they're, be written so they're already out they're already coming they're already coming i already right. i already did yeah. the work ray you know you and i have had a great fucking relationship since i moved here from texas all right and uh i don't want that to be a problem so just don't embarrass yourself. That's all I'm asking. I'll, I'll be fine, guy. <laughs> Stop. Shut up. Don't. I am fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. I am worried about you. Well, don't worry about me, man. I'll be. I'll be just fine. Come, dude. You I got it. I got it all working out. Hey, 
next time you're in New Haven, you can stay here anytime. I, my place is your place. Seriously. Same with you, Quad. Same with any of these motherfuckers that watch the show. Serious. I was that up. Who who was at your special taping? Me and my lady. Were we not? Yeah, you're there, man. You're in a yeah, bunch of the clips. I'll release another clip Monday from the. That's that all. Of course, I watch all your shit, right? I'm, I'm telling you, these assholes trash you. You gotta stop putting yourself in a position to get. Trashed. I'm fine. I don't give a fuck. Who am I? Who am I? Fucking. Outside of Kevin Brennan, I don't give a fuck with any of the other shit I got to deal with. It's not about Brennan or Kevin or Kevin. I'm Brennan. fine. It's about his fans, doggy. He, they're going to trash you, and they're going to bring you up in another situation every fucking time it happens to you. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Tim Stansel, who is the funniest fucking person I've ever met in my entire life, has also said the same thing I said. You're funny as hell on stage. Stay off podcast, Ray. Stay off the podcast. Never. I'm doing fine on the podcast. Get off the podcast. Rock Bottom bro. Podcast with Ray DeVito. I haven't been doing podcast. Yeah, stay off other people's podcasts. Where's uh, Bob Biggerstaff? What's going on with a fatty? Uh, he's recovering, man. He um, had colon cancer. He's recovering. I know what's going on with him. We're both Texas boys. You think I fucking know? Oh, my God. Kevin Brennan's calling me right now. All right. There you go. I'll let you... Yeah, peace out, Ray. Have Nobody a good one, buddy. No, wait, wait. Thanks for stopping what? by. I appreciate it. What? You, thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate oh, it, buddy. I'm on your show right now, but I'm here with Quad Bottle. All right. You guys have a good have a good night. No, I'll I'm see you on, later. I'm later, buddy. Oh, I got Ray on right now. I'm able to you. Snipe me. See what's going on. What's your show? Uh. <laughs> Fucking asshole! It's Ski Mask Collective. All right, so uh, you just see me. The, yeah, what, what's your show? What's your show? <laughs> what's your show? I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. What's my show? That's a dude. That was like, dude. That hit me so hard, bro. That's right. so good. That's why Kevin Brett is the fucking best, right there, folks. You heard it. Exactly. What is your show? I don't know That's your show. What's going on? I don't know what's wrong with that. People calling me. Uh, fucking... I mean, did he send me the link? I'm going to call that fucking faggot. So annoying. Was I still live? You're still alive and live uh, for now. For now. Brennan live? Like, I would do Brennan's show right now because I want to. I have a lot I need to say to Brennan. Like, seriously. You already said like 20 minutes worth of what you want to say to Brendan. All he yeah, has to do is well, watch well, it. Brendan talking to me. I mean, you, dude, honestly, Quad, you know this. We're friends outside of this bullshit. When we talk on the phone, we talk on the phone. That's it, right? Yeah, Stop. real ass shit. That's right. Stop looking at your fucking phone. Look at me. I was looking at, you asked me if he was snipe streaming us. Now I'm fucking looking. And there it is. Yeah, okay. Pat Dixon. Stevie Lou and fucking Brennan. Check oh, this out. Oh, right oh Lou's on there? Yeah, of course. You can well, have a message to Stevie Lou if you want. Well, no, Lou doesn't have a fucking sack. Otherwise, he'd fucking come on this show. You know what I mean? I sent a link to all these guys. And here's the here's the thing, folks. I'm drinking this keg. Once this keg is done, uh, that's it. You know, because I'm a real ass fucking dude. We do real podcast here. I'll drink this keg, I'll shoot a gun. I'll play guitar. I mean, what the fuck happened to podcasting? Quiet. Well, I'm going to get a bunch of shit now because I'm hanging oh, out what? with you while you're drinking yourself to death and they're all going to say, oh, you're an enabler. You just hang out with people that fucking uh, drinking themselves, drugging themselves to death. Now what? I'm going to be the what? asshole. Are you being serious right now? Yeah, of course, dude. I, Bobby P fucking died what? on our show and everyone was like, oh, you just sat there and watched dude. him die. Yeah, because he's a weak dude, dude. Quiet. Quad, shut the fuck up, dude. Every time we talk on the phone, I'm real with you. You're real with me. Shut the fuck up saying you can leave my show like that. That's bullshit. You know it. No, Say it just looks bad on me if, if something bad happens to oh, you. That's oh, that's my gonna point. Look, what's going to look bad on you? Uh, no, you but know, I actually do care about you. So, yeah, yeah, of course. 
no, but yeah, no, so we got yeah. these guys sniping us right now. Why don't you tell them everything you want to say to them? Here's your chance. I don't know. Maybe they're fags. Where's the link? No, they, they're they sniping us. You could say anything oh, you want. They can't even us. respond. It's even a better no, situation no. than that. You can say anything show. you I'm want. I'm drinking a keg, bro. I mean, what the fuck they want? I'm drinking kegs. They want a message. They want they want to hear your thoughts. You already fucking you had you had what? a bunch of that, thoughts. That MLC stinks, and this is all they have to do is uh steam snipe my show. I mean, I had guys, you know who you know who messaged me two days ago? Brandon. He lives in South Carolina now. He goes, What happened to you on MLC? You know Brandon. He was the original BYB. Yeah, he was part boy. of BYB, of course I yeah, know. He was the original clown, right? I love yeah, it. I haven't heard from him in months. He goes, what happened with you and Kevin Brennan? I said, look, Brennan got mad at me because I ate a filet of fish in front of a therapist. And then I asked the therapist how big his cock was. Oops, sorry. I I didn't understand that this was supposed to be funny. But you were you were on MLC two times after that, though, right? When? Like two times after that. That when, wasn't your last appearance. Name the dates. You can't just say them. Dude, I, you think I can remember the dates? Are you serious? I, don't tell him. No. The I watch MLC time, every day. I, the last time I was on MLC is when I fucking asked a goddamn therapist how big his cock was. And listen, that's fucking funny. No, I think I think you came on after that and you cussed Kevin out. Oh, no, that's when I called him. I called a cell phone. I didn't know he was live on the air. I found yeah, that, that out was... from Chad Man Jones. So, by the way, Chad Zumach, listen, I've been loving what you've been doing lately. Uh, you want to fight? Uh, didn't you say that two or three years ago, Chad? Uh, because I'm pretty sure that literally myself, and a couple other guys, we booked tickets for Chuck Manjoe, and he flew to Tampa to beat your ass, and you locked yourself in your house, you fucking squirm faggot. I mean, what the fuck, man? I mean, I, am I am I some? Is this is this the whole thing just to, just to, to, for me to sabotage my own? That's show? old news. That's old news, ski mask. What's That's new what news? Saying. Where's my link? No, no, no. You, you, you have the fucking platform right now to say anything you want to MLC. You could even have a message to Stevie Lou. You could even say like, "Hey, Stevie Lou, uh, is there any way we can fucking make this work out?" Like, you, you could say any message you want hey, to right now. Where's my link? I'll, I'll hop on Brennan's show. I don't give a fuck. I said, like I said, this is my fucking show. I'm not leaving my own show until I get done drinking my uh keg or whatever they call this shit what now they call it a baby keg a pony keg all right fine here's the deal i want and i know they're sniping it's fine whatever i want a one-on-one -on -one with brennan because i want him to break down exactly what i did to piss him off which is fine i let him break it down and then I'll break my point down and we'll be fine. Because Brennan, Brennan is so confusing. It's what makes comedy fun. Like Kevin Brennan is what makes comedy the most fun thing in the fucking world. It's because he does dumb shit. He knows, he knows that myself, excuse my host, and Jim Stansel are number one fans and the OGs, but he won't contribute to that. That's totally fine with me. Also, at the same time, we could do, we could make whatever t-shirts we want. We could promote MLC all we want. He'll never promote that. There's, there's something about KB that I haven't been able to figure out yet. And, uh, Hopefully one of these days we can, man. Like it, it's it's I mean it's absolutely insanity quad. It's insanity. No, Kevin Brennan is old school. And if he decides at any moment that he wants to wash his hands of you, uh he will do that in the moment. Dude, he nope, can nope, he nope, can change nope. his mind nope. later. You're wrong. But You're he's wrong. that's what the burning bridges thing is all the fucking about, dude. Is fucking you mess with me too much and you'll be fucking He'll be off to the sidelines, you know, waiting to come back on. That's all there is to it. 
Uh, I know you froze up. <laughs> Jeez, you drank so much you froze up. See? That's why you got to quit drinking. <laughs> this is going great. Hell yeah. What a time. What a time. Yeah, I don't understand. Uh, this is the best moment he's ever had to give uh, give a piece of his mind to Kevin Brennan. Stevie, dude, no, I'm dude, saying I, this is I, your I, best fucking, chance ever. No, no, this, watching. Is, this is the totalest bullshit ever. As I hate that people, uh, they think I'm sucking Brennan's cock, right? You're Brennan, not? Brennan, Brennan uh, I told my mom to go on a show, right? I've had my dad on a show. It, it doesn't matter. There's something about Brennan. There's something like chemically in his mind that you can't figure out. You're not able to figure it out. Either am I. Right? That, that's what makes him funny. That's called funny. When you're able to figure out something that nobody else knows. You understand, Quad? That's why do you think everybody, why do you think he makes more money than everybody else? Because Brennan is fucking brilliant, period. And he knows he's brilliant. Why do you think he trashes his brother? Neil stinks. Neil is always stunk. Come on. You know that, Quad. You know that. You want to trash him so bad, but you know goddamn well I'm right. I don't want to trash him. Dude. I mean, it's just, it, there's something weird about it. When I say weird, I mean like something I can't figure out yet. And why do you think I've been trying to figure it out for what since 2024 years now I'm trying to figure it out for four years what's going on with the mlc i was the original n-word caller i used to call into fucking uh burning bridges and say nigger 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 for no reason you know that's gone i mean if, if if kb had any balls he'd fucking just call me like a man because he knows we got he just happy. called you. You mean not yeah, on a show, though? Is that what you're talking about? No, he just called me. I mean, I don't care if I'm on a show. He just called me and stopped hanging up. Uh, I got guys like Joe Exotic. Everybody's watching what we're doing right now. Joe Exotic. Oh, oh my God. Call me right yeah. now. Oh, co please call me. Tell me what you're betting on. Listen, I'm drinking a fucking keg, and I'm telling the truth. Quadfather, go. Yeah, tell you a little... Uh, you little boyfriend there he likes you so much what are you uh this is uh apparently luke of the bind wants to fight ski mask coast do you understand uh can you hear it pretty good ski who is that luke of the bind who is on the phone luke of the bind he's on the hang, phone right hang now up the fo hang up the fucking goddamn phone i'm gonna i'll take care of this all right i hung up done uh why you did see I mean, Steve Lou's gonna fight um uh, Jim Grindle, did you hear about this? Nope. Too was I was too busy cleaning my fucking toilet. <laughs> do you want to hear about it or do you care? I don't care. I'll show you exactly All right. what I don't care. I won't even fucking bring this it up. It's my show. <laughs> Fair. I think it'll be funny. What's up? Listen, pussy, don't call fucking guest on my show again. I told you earlier, I'm not interested in fucking fighting some losers just because you're trying to garner attention because your show sucks. Dude, your show sucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shut the fuck up. Who? How am I, how is he going to blow me if he's in a chair? Yeah, exactly. Hang up. You see, he hung up, pussy. He is a pussy. He texts he takes me that bullshit at eight o'clock this morning. Oh, you want to? Would you like to box? I said absolutely not. I'm uh I'm excuse me, but uh you know, uh, uh I'm kind of a little bit above that. Did you get a Did you get a link? For what? Uh, people are saying you got the link. I, I'm not actually watching uh, MLC link? right now. How, how should I have? What did they see? I got the link at. In the chat, they're probably just lying as usual. Yeah, of course. You know the know. deal. Yeah, Brennan's being been a uh, bitch, probably. Brennan's scared. Brennan's scared. I know. And if I get on Twitter, I'll join. I'll check my email. 
Yeah, they're all right. They're not stream sniping. Good. Nail gun. I got a email. Oh, I got. I do got one. Uh, but how do I join him? With uh, no, because you know what? Fuck that. Send him the link. Quad, you got the link? <laughs> yeah. Listen, my whole point was I'm drinking this entire keg of my stream. And I'm a real ass fucking man. For that. Yeah, I did get the said, link. Said in the same chat that he sent you the link, you should just send him your link right back to Well, it's actually email. Hold on. That'd be hilarious. Uh, hold on. Uh, keep a show going. Talk about something besides cock. Yeah, I don't know. I I want to talk about this creep, but I mean, I uh, to, apparently, let me, let me just call what, KB. Hold on. Uh, yeah, what you said about uh, I'll shut up as soon as he answers. But join me. What on you here. said about well, Luke well, the Bible. I, I just joined him on my phone real quick. See what's going on. <laughs> this uh, is ridiculous. But no funny. shit. This is what it's all about, folks. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's. I, I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of ski mask collective getting fucking sent under the elbows, folks. Uh, enter studio display. Now. Oh, what did you do? Ski mask house. Uh, oh, sorry, it's been a while. It's sorry, been a while. sorry, it's been a while since I got some fucking respect. Now Lucas Bland is calling. It. Shut up. I'm live on the air, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna try to kibosh your stream. That's what he's doing. Well, no shit. Yeah. That's the whole fucking point. That's why he calls me fucking five times a show yeah, every show. The guy Lucas Blind's got to stop fucking calling me. Yeah, listen, I'm doing my own show right now. Uh, yo, KB, if you want me to be on, just. Uh, I can join you. I'm doing my own show. Uh, Stevie, text me. Tell me what I should do. I don't know what the fuck. Listen, I'm getting fucked up. I got a keg here, and I plan on drinking the entire thing. Dude, I'm on my phone. I'm doing my own show on my computer, and I'm on the phone on your show because your show stinks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, this fucking Brennan's so stupid. He, he Brennan, Brennan is such. He's so smart. Yeah, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, dude, I'm going to call fucking studio right now. Maybe if we get a lip reader on also? No. With a, with a mask? Send Ski the link. He's lit and Leslie Jones. Stacey Arnold, the show is for... Hey, don't ever fucking act like you didn't know what the fuck I was doing. No, no, but dude, you know exactly what I was doing, dog. Okay. All right. Peace. Pussy ass motherfucker. Why does Luke and the Blind want to fight me? Come on, Stevie Lou. I'll beat the shit out of you, boy. I seen you fight Asian uh, Pat Dixon. I seen you fight him. Barely. God damn, it took 30 hours. I had to go for a cold beer on the side of the building. Because you're a bitch. You're a pussy. You want to call me uh, when, you, when, you, when you sense that things are going on and, and, and call me. Oh, oh, I hope you're doing all right. <laughs> you know, I hope everything's okay. But then uh, when you get on MLC, you hang up the phone on me. We're friends, brother. Why is this so playing? What's going on? Stop calling my fucking phone. I'm serious, doggy. Dude, bro, I, I don't want to. You are serious? Are you serious? Listen. Are you seriously a pussy, too? Yeah, you are. Definitely from the queer side of Texas, buddy. <laughs> He's so unfunny it's, and it's, pathetic. It's like, it's like, it's like hey. Why would I want to 
for what reason would I want to fight him? Is the same thing with Stevie Lou. So why would I want to fight Stevie? He's gotten paid. Who cares? Like Stevie's a bum. Why do you think he's on the MLC and he hung up on me? Who who, who do you think Stevie's friend? Myself or Kevin Brennan? All right, let's. Uh, I'll entertain it for a minute. He's probably gonna drop an M bomb though. Go ahead, hurry up. I'm just having fun now. Stop bothering me, seriously, brother. Not happening again. He's Good. a bore. Yeah, so Good. that's the guy. That's the guy that says, "Oh, I get picked on all the time. Oh, well, well, no, people he, are messing he, with he me." He texted me at nine thirty this morning. He said, "Hey, uh, would you like to box me in April?" And uh, I thought about it. Not gonna lie, I thought about it for a couple hours. And I texted him back. Finally, I said, uh, "Yeah, you know what? No thanks." <laughs> for what? I mean, what? What would that do? No, you said it perfectly earlier when you were like, all he wants is the clout from doing anything. Dude, make it quick and make... Holy shit, dude. I'm blocked. All right, Luke, you got one more fucking time, Bubs. Seriously, that's annoying as hell. I'm doing a show, and I'm hammered. The whole point of my fucking show is to goddamn do a fucking chag... Uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm fucked. Chug a keg? A oh, chig. Yeah, whatever. Yo, dude, this is your last 10 seconds on my fucking phone. I'm serious. I'll beat your fucking ass. Oh, really? No, you already, you already didn't accept it. You pussy. So I'm saying this is the last 10 seconds you'll ever call me. What are you laughing about? Because you can't raise kids? You don't know how to raise kids? You're fat? Are you are you laughing because you're fat? I just called in the... What are you talking about? You called me, you asshole. What the fuck are you talking about? Up. Oh, exactly. Nine oh three five three nine. That is my... Uh, password to my phone if you folks can rate me i live stop. at 36 terror street in New Haven, stop it stop doxing yourself that's ridiculous quit it uh, quit i'm half deaf brother i gotta block that clown because it's, it's annoying my fucking shit keeps calling me i'll call stevie one more time that's bullshit stevie hang up a phone on me when i so much i did for that clown stevie thinks he's so funny i mean come on the only way Stevie's funny is when he does shit by himself. When Stevie does things on any other show, it's never enough. It's never funny. He did shit on my show. Then he tried to create his own show on my network. And then he tried to, oh, you know what? Maybe we'll do a wrap up show. <laughs> It'll be hilarious. Bomb. Uh, maybe we'll do, you know, a pregame show. Holy shit, Steve B, that's going to be fucking awesome. Bombed. Uh, but you know what? Ever since he started his own shit. Your best show ever was uh, Sad Chad, right? As far as numbers and money goes? You know why? Because everyone I'm, hates fucking Chad. Why, that's why. why. Everyone I hates his fucking shows, guts. I scheduled the shows and I fucking prompted the shows. People love to say the ski ain't funny. That's fine. But the ski is great at organizing. The ski is great at fucking prompting. I know where the funny is due. And I know what the funny is due in court. Just like we had a vodka bottle stealing over a year ago on our fucking network. Ski Mask Collective is executive, motherfuckers. And it's always going to be that way. And listen, here, here, here's the thing, man. Truthfully. This podcast, me wearing a fucking pink sock on my head, has gotten me into places I never would have expected to get. Let me talk to guys like Chuck Manjone. I've lived in this house, banging his sister. Sorry, Chucky. Please don't beat my ass. You keep saying you know that. Stop saying, saying that. It's, there you. it's ridiculous stuff that has happened to me just from putting a pink sock on my head. Uh, Stevie getting divorced. Uh, Brennan, you losing money. All you guys think Ski Mask hosts will always stand true, and that's why Jim Stanton will always be right here 
next to me. Jim Stansel ain't going nowhere. He's the best. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to drink this entire keg. We're only halfway through, folks. Uh, why would I join uh, fucking MLC for what? Him to pay me a measly 100 bucks? He already owes me 100 bucks. I can show you on Venmo if you'd like. He owes me 100 bucks. No, he owes me 200 bucks on Venmo. Yeah, sorry. Brendan already owes me. So why? What, what do you want me to do? Leave my own show? My show's way funnier. Wait, he's probably talking, that's silly. That's silly. You know what? He was a You know, he, didn't, he wasn't even that funny. He's calling now. He's calling now. Oh, here's my phone right here. I don't have any. My phone number, folks, is 903. That's 903. 903. That's East Texas number, folks. Smith County. 903-539-9677. Give me a call. Let's see what's going on. Pussy ass fucking losers. You're a pussy and go on MLC. Uh, no, I got my own show going on. I'm a, what do you mean? What are we going to just fucking go out and hang out? That looks like or, Kate Meany. Uh, go on MLC and stick it to CD. If Stevie had any fucking cock in his body, he'd just hop on in. Uh, my whole point was, I'm not hopping off my... Maybe I'll go on the show up there and finish this keg. That's been the whole point the entire time, is that uh, I'm going to leave my entire show until I finish the keg, you fucking buffoons. Jesus, God damn, man. It's so wild to be around a bunch of pussies. What rank Well, you got his attention. Should I tell him? Should I tell him? I'm not going to tell him. I'll see how long it takes him to figure it out. You guys don't tell him either. And yes, you're missing a phone call. Decline. Leonard. Yes, Leonard. Fuck you, Huff. I'm not going to say a word. Just too. Oh, son of a bitch, you figured it out.
You guys remember those old timey uh, silent movies, right? Aren't they just as good as a regular movie? Uh, go for quad. Dog, you know I'm half deaf. Yeah, buddy. Uh, no audio. Don't ever do that to me again. Like immediately text. I put it in the private chat. I tried to get it fucking. It the private chat don't work. Text me on my phone. All right. Well, I, I, I you, we you still can't hear you on the on the thing. No shit. I'm about to fix it, but I'm just letting you know. Like, come on. I thought we were boys. Fuck. Now I'm gonna fucking have him bandana. You're laughing at me when I my audio is I look at the private chat. It says no audio. <laughs> I'm half deaf, which means I'm almost full deaf. Fuck. It is I thought, funny. I tried. You literally, you were the first person I called you to have on tonight, and now you're fucking clowning. God I damn it. Put it in there. I tried I'm to. Boy. What am I supposed to put? I'm holding a keg and a microphone. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's one of the He's uh, back. that's one of the things you're supposed to say, Bubba. I mean, I, I had so many one-liners that I could go back and look at, you know, the night after. But anywho, uh, so yeah, folks, uh, same thing. Like I was saying uh, at the beginning of the episode, uh, if you would go three hours beforehand <laughs> it's funny we've been alive uh three hours and 15 seconds way funnier show than kevin brennan's show kevin brennan's show blows because uh uh it it basically proved my point did it not quad remember what i said no of course you don't because you're fucking retarded too uh, what i said was uh, you call your boys and they basically hang up the phone they're too busy so i called stevie lou uh, he was too busy to join or to give any action, I guess, uh, for anything. And, uh, of course, Brennan is still talking about some shilling, shilling. Who cares about that? Uh, Brennan will come back around when he realizes uh, who his two friends are. So that's what pissed me off a bit, uh, Quad, is that, uh, you know, you're supposed to freak out. And do whatever the fuck you can do to let me know that my sound's not working. That I my ankle, sorry, my ankle bone on my right foot is a little big and accidentally pulled the cord uh, out of my shit. So yeah, well, I think the problem was the fact that you were talking on the phone and looking down. So that doesn't that matter. It doesn't matter. You're still you're, you're like this, you're my boy. So, like, it doesn't you, matter if you can't. Hear I'm just me, saying you had no way of knowing unless well, Stevie you Lou's up. a pussy. He hung up the phone, right? Stevie Lou's a bitch, dude. He's you know why he's fucking a main he reason he's not on BYB anymore is because of how angry he was with you and the fact that I was still your friend and hung out with you. Yeah, that is one of the main reasons he stopped hanging out with uh, BYB. It's so phony. It's like. Like, uh, even to this day, like right now, I could trash Stevie Lou all I want. I could I could say the nastiest shit about him, but uh, I still consider him a friend. But friends are, when I pick up my fucking cell phone and I call someone, I expect them to answer. If they don't, they'll call me back or at least text me back. Hey, hey Bubs, I'm busy. You know, you do that. I do that. How, how many times have I called you and you haven't answered? Uh, maybe once or twice ever, but I, maybe once or twice, zero, but I call you back right away or whatever. Zero, zero, zero is the answer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just, uh, you kind of interjected yourself into this podcasting world. And, uh, I, did. I told you this when you, for your show first started getting hot. I said, listen, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of bullshit. So now Stevie thinks he's all big, bad, bald on uh, MLC. For what? Get paid 100 bucks? Go ahead. Go ahead. Kevin's just playing him. It's hilarious. 
All right, keg's not over, but I, I still haven't taken a piss. I think the keg's about half done, so you might have to. We need another guest. Who 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 uh, can we get? Um, yeah, I got a guest. Run the show, faggot. That's what I'm. Yeah, doing. well, I I don't know why didn't. Uh, well, that's a question for you, but I guess I could just ask the fucking chat what they think. Um, should you have taken your opportunity when you were getting stream sniped? Uh, to absolutely go off, and no, I think you no, may no, have because 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 here's the thing, and I've said it before, and I've said it on a different show. Uh, I've said it on my show. Listen, my show was, you know, it came about respecting MLC. Uh, we were an MLC wrap up show. That was the whole entire point of Ski Mask Collective. That was it. I put on this dumb ski mask. Uh, so people could garnish attention and start looking uh, at different podcasts that weren't MLC because MLC was the best and it still is the best, always will be. Uh, so look, I'm not going to do anything different than I, I haven't done before. You know, uh, and if Kevin wants to blow me off, he could fucking suck my dick. He could eat my ass and that's it. You know, uh, Kevin knows I'm taking care of him. He, he knows, he knows that. He knows for a fact that myself and Jim Stancil know that he's the funniest comic that's ever walked the planet, period. And what else more do I have to say? So think, literally, if Kevin has a problem with that, keep talking stuttering John. Keep talking about uh, Shuley's, I guess. Uh, I don't even remember the last time I watched that shit. Uh, Carl's, and uh, next time we're in AC, just eat my ass. That's it. Look, I give credit where credit's due, and Kevin's been a fucking bitch lately. Clip it, cut it, tweet it. Hey man, I gotta, um, I gotta take off. Dude, I gotta. We, we go. Come on. I okay. So maybe I can carry the show for a minute while you go take a piss real quick. Where are you going for real? Uh, family shit. So you didn't give me a. Uh... Uh, someone's pulling in right now, and whatever. I wasn't ready for it. All right, well, I need us. I need someone to go. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna call Cap. I guess. Uh, Luca the blind still blowing my shit up. I don't care. I don't want to talk to him. No, I'll call. Um, uh, all right, Bob. You know what, lovey doggy. Uh, take it easy. I'll talk to you soon. I'm hammered. I'm finishing some time. I'm drinking a keg on the air. It's hilarious. Yeah, brother. Uh, Madam Melissa forever, brother. You know that. Hell yeah, man. You, you know the real rock and roll. Come on. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, uh, take her easy. Uh, I'll try to pop back on later if uh, these folks leave. And, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I'm, talk to you I'm later. I'm here until this keg is empty, unlike these other pussies who wait till their wives leave and they have to, uh, you know, leave their houses like Kevin Brennan does. Right on, man. Take her easy, brother. I'll try right. to come back on if you're on still. But I love you, Quad. You know I love you, dog. Wow, blocked. Uh, guess I gotta go by my father. It's lame. Well, I'm still alive. Uh, I need some guests. Uh, I need to see what's going on. I'm just gonna get my dad on here and see what's happening. Just for him, because you know he signed up to MLC podcast. Wow. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call his wife. Cause I'm that pissed off. That 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 makes me mad. Uh, no, because you know, uh, Quadfather made a great point. You know, uh, it, but it's hard to get mad at because I don't know what to be mad at anymore. Is is it Kev? I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know if it's if I should be mad at Kev or not. Is it funny? So I'm gonna call my dad's wife. Who cares? See what's going on. I'll let her know, of course, that she's live. Now. Hello, Vicky. I'm live on a podcast right now, just so you know. Oh, you are? Yes. Uh, what's dad doing? Oh, he just got in the shower. Oh. To tell him to log in. Is Travis still there or did he leave? He, he left. Okay. Uh, when dad gets out of the shower, tell him to call me, please. Okay. All right. Cool. Will you be able to answer? What's that? Will you be able to answer if you're live on the podcast? Yeah, I'm, I've been live for three and a half hours already. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you have uh, this is actually sad. Uh, oh, it's so sad. Oh. Oh. It is kind of sad when Jim stands. I won't want to call. I'm crying right now. And Luca the blind. Why Luca the blind texted me and said, "Hey, uh, actually, you know what? I'll read the fucking. I probably already did uh, three hours earlier. So what's going on?" Uh, you actually never text me back about it, Les. You're lucky you have my number, faggot. Jim and Stevie are fighting. It's an... <laughs> Hold on. First of all, someone should get that put on a t-shirt. Uh, Jim and Stevie are fighting. It's the Night Creeps versus the Sad Chatters. First of all, uh, I'm pretty sure I claim that Sad Chad is, uh, I claim that. So if you try to steal it, goodbye. Uh, you steal my money, just like you always did, Stevie. Uh, and that's the fucked up thing. You know, uh, Jim Stancil can attest to this. Jim Stancil knows this. He gets paid way more than I fucking get paid. And for Stevie Lou to come around and say, oh, 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 ski mouse host owes me money. Fuck you. I don't owe you a dollar. For what? How much money did you make? On <laughs> loose cannon. <laughs> loose cannon. <laughs> what did you think you were going to do, doggy? Loose cannon. What? You didn't talk about anything. You just had five, six other people on for them to talk about stuff. So who was the cannon? Who? <laughs> Join MLC, Leonard says. Um, yeah, no, I mean, somebody call KB. I'll join now. I mean, I don't really, I don't really know if I can. Uh, maybe. No, I think I'll join. I ain't being a bitch. I'm not... I don't even know who you are, Sloan. Shut up. Click the link. Where's the link? Hold on. Let me look at the fucking emails. All right. Fine. I guess I'll give up my dumb show to join this. This fucking loser. Where? Where's the link? How did he send it? Uh, uh, Prick of all. Look at the blind fucking socks. Yo, doggy, why do you send this shit to the wrong stuff? What the fuck? This is so annoying. B, where are you at? Yeah, so tell Brennan to send me the link again, because I don't know where. I saw it on my phone. I was sitting on my uh, computer. Oh, these Luca the Blind guys keep fucking blowing my shit up. They're annoying as hell. Because I'm not getting any attention. I got an email from somebody that said Stevie Lou stinks. Y'all roast Stevie Lou. I'm ready to fucking roast Stevie Lou right now. 744, no audio. Uh, uh, you joined from your email. I don't know, dude. Doggies, I don't know what I'm doing. Tell me to send it again. I'm still live on my show. Send me super chats, brothers. Come on. How do Ski Mass Host and Jim Stancil uh, make more money than Kevin Brennan? I'll join his show. I don't mind. Just make it fucking easy. You know, there shouldn't be a... Uh, I shouldn't be shopping around for a fucking link. You know, a... Annoying. The show even live? Hey now. Leo gone. Hey now. Uh, oh, yeah, thanks, Puzzle. I can't even do my show, but this uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, here we go. I'm alone. I'll roast uh, Stevie Lou. Let's go. All right. We'll be back.
uh, if he joins, if he lets me on. Let's go. Let's see what happens. All right, so should I end my own show to, to come here now? What? Can I end my show to start the show or what? What's going on? I have to end my show. What do you want me to do? I don't know, Stevie, uh, you know how to do this kind of thing, don't you? You used to do it for me. Uh, why don't you look up my show, see if it's still going. Look up the show and see if my fucking show is live. Now, Stevie Lou's a bitch. Here's the thing about Stevie Lou. Stevie, you know I love you. You called me the other day. You know I love you as a friend. But what the fuck? I call you in a time of need and, and you don't answer the phone because you think you're all big and bad because you work at Brennan now? What's going on? Check your receipts. Check them. Check them. I don't have to tell you anything. Look at the receipts. You, you're on your phone. all every, every time you're doing this show, you're on your fucking phone. No, yeah, good. Did you listen or no? My beef with Pat Dixon? Nothing. Good. Tell him to eat my ass. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I, here's my here's my plan. No, I've been live for three and a half hours. I'm drinking an entire keg. Uh, woman, I've been drinking a keg for th over three hours. I just ended my show. No, because people are retarded and they can't handle their alcohol. So they see what I drink and they're like, oh my God, you're going to die. I'm like, dude, it's just a keg. Let's just drink a keg. Who cares? I don't have a doctor. I don't have health insurance, brother. You know that about me. Come on. Why, why, Stevie, Stevie, why invite me to fucking film your fight? All right. And, and then blow me off after. And, and and how about when I said when I said you could do whatever show you want on my network and you didn't make no money and then you expected all the money that Stancil and myself made from Ski Mask Collective to be split in half and you get pull up the tax, please, please prove it, please prove it. Get the receipts, please. Show me the show me the fucking ten ninety nines. I have the receipts. I run the YouTube. Go ahead. Where? How? How? How, how did he send you money? Was it on YouTube or was it on Venmo? Pussy. Exactly. You didn't send me half of that, did you? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That was the one you sent. Look how much money I sent you on Venmo. You're mad because I sent you the receipts. I had the receipts. Brennan, Brennan has the receipts. Brennan, Brennan, pull up the receipts. You know I sent them to you. Come on. No, no. I sent Brennan the receipts of all the money I sent you. You were making, uh, you made $15. Yeah. You did do that. I will, I will, I will give that. You did help that. I just gave you credit, faggot. Come on. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, because you you got all butthurt you got all butthurt about money. I said start your own show, and then you couldn't make any money on your own show. Yeah, I said I said hey hey can you can you spot me twenty bucks? I said can you spot me twenty bucks? 20, 20, 20 was a max. 20 was a max. 20 was a max. It's okay, so I don't know why you're calling me out because your show didn't make money, doggy. I, I don't know what you want me to do. Listen, I, I listen. I never said nothing but the wife. Whose kids? None of us have kids. You call my girlfriend fat. <laughs> okay. All right. Stevie, listen. We uh we talked over the phone and I thought we had squashed it. I have Luke in the blind texting me saying, Oh, you want a box? I'm like, no, I don't. I'm fine. Yeah, I got people wanting to box me and shit. I'm like, Stevie already did it. Like, who cares? Me and Stevie already did all this bullshit. Like, why are we fighting, Stevie? Come on. Uh, no, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not. No, look, dude. When I do my show, I I give credit where credit's due. If I say you blow an MLC, you blow an MLC. Sorry. What one time I said something about your wife, and that's it. One time, because you 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 said exactly where it worked. That's why I said, "Wait." <laughs> no, I did not. I did not say you like my girlfriend. I don't know if I said it or not. That's it. It sounds like something I would say. Stevie, 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 you want to call me the other day because you're worried about me and that literally, no, no, it made me, it made my day and I tried not to say anything bad about you since. So I appreciate that. Shut the fuck up. Don't so say that on MLC, doggy. If you want to be real about it, be real about it. Shut up, Cap. Shut up, Cap. This is a conversation between him and me. Stevie, see, you know you know exactly where the fuck I live, man. Come see me. No, no, come see me hang out. I got a grill. I mean, we grill. I do. I'm drinking a keg, doggy. I'm drinking a keg. Steve, come on. You know we're friends. Look, we trash each other. What was weird about that? What we put speedos on? Yeah. All right, Stevie. Right. I'm not gonna lie. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I just uh. All right, Kevin, I gotta talk to you for a minute. Come on. First of all, Stevie, you know I love you to death. You you I call you, I say it all the time. You're a friend of my life. You can call me anytime. Kevin, 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 Kevin. I have I, Kevin, I have something I have to talk to you about. Come on. Stop it with a stutter. Stop it with a stuttering John. Stop. Just stop. Just stop it, brother. Yes, you did. Come on, stop. What are you doing? Put a stuttery on. Come on. I, I got a crank, man. I'm, 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 I'm the ski mask host. I'm the ski mask. This is four years running. Come on. Uh, 2020, yeah.
No, I came up to this area because I met uh, Chuck Man Jones' sister. Didn't work out too well. Uh, yeah, I tried to uh, that one night at Atlantic City when I had to help you to hotel rooms. You want to go further into that? No way. I was just trying to take care of you. I was trying to be a good boy. Come on, Texas. Come on. Yeah, come on. Uh, she's at work. Uh, she, it's, she is. She'll be home in fifty minutes. She should try to wrap up podcasts. <laughs> yeah, she's watching. I'm not ever crying for help, doggy. I. I never fucking said. I ne- Stencil said that. I never said it. I never said it. I never said it. Uh, who is Lewis Lloyd? <laughs> who the hell is Lewis Lloyd? I'm drinking cold beer in a keg. Like a- Listen, I mean, I'll, I, you know, I'll, I'll say it like it is. Look, I pull good-looking women. Pat Dixon can uh, attest to that. My uh, ex old lady did Pat Dixon's show. Where are men going? Uh, uh, yep, exactly. So he knows. Oh, yeah. Now somebody uh, with law. No, because I'm a good gentleman. Old lady's gone. No, not yet. Um, no, I'm drinking a keg. I'd rather kill the keg. 100%. Thank you, Stevie. The Chuck Chuck. I bought him all those chainsaws. No, no, no. Chuck Man Jones. So I started getting him uh, introduced. He was cutting down his trees in the backyard with like axes. So I bought him a chainsaw. And he goes, Oh shit. He fired up. Whatever. Well, he did, but he never felt the power of it. Stevie, you know, come on. I, I, I just hate how me and Stevie got in a fight a minute ago, and Stevie knows I love him. You didn't even know who's we? Got a mouse in the pocket. You didn't even care if we we boys were in fucking uh, Atlantic City. Stancil. What's going on with the Stancil shit? Stancil's been killing it lately. Way more than everywhere. Are you kidding me? Yes. Stevie, shut the fuck up. I'm not frozen at all. I'm I'm pissed that you would say something like that, Stevie. That, no, Stevie, that the fact that you would say something like that is ridiculous. Ski mask, do your plugs on MLC. Uh, am I still on uh, my show? Jesus Christ. So, it's so bad. Get rid of this ball, motherfucker. This is terrible. Uh, 
right, boss. Uh, Stevie Lou fucking sucks, Nick. I'm going to call him out. I'm still in the waiting room. I'll stay right there. Uh, oh, shit. This number's not. Everyone's 